with my density. I think it's all wallet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would really like a couple of emails that I can ignore. I mean, I would. Re- <laughs> Paula, read them. <laughs> so, so they come back and Travis is gone. Uh, not Dozier, Walter. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are back. It's been way too long. This is a gentleman no class once again. Um, sorry to do this to you guys. I know you thought we were like canceled because <laughs> people got their hopes up that we weren't going to do this anymore. <laughs> but we're back um, uh, for sure. Mm-hmm. I am Jake. Um, my name is Raf. I speak to Ian Paul. And I'm Rob. And, uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and we're gentlemen no class. <laughs> See you later, guys. No, that's yeah. A, yeah, that's a show. We'll we'll do another one of these in another six months. <laughs> oh wow! Um, Harvey Feinstein fucked us. <laughs> that's we? why we have a delay. <laughs> we have so many interesting topics to talk yeah. about. We didn't update our topics list. We did at not all. Yeah. No, we did not. You're right about no. that. A lot of stuff has happened since then. It's been what about how many months? About. Three or four Three months. Three or four I've, months. It's been Easy. longer than that. It's been, been close to six. Okay. It's Seriously, I, I think the last time we did was like in late July. That mm. sounds about right, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that does sound about right, actually. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, so you do the math, guys. And it's right now, it's January. So late part mm-hmm. of January. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, what have you guys been up to? Um, Not anything spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been up to anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, well, Astros won the World Series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is true. Houston got yeah. destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we needed that. We, we needed that win to uplift the city. Yeah. The oh, spirits yeah. of the there's, city. Because that, that con- was right after. Did you hear that conspiracy theory that they let us win because I, of I the flood? I wouldn't doubt that. They let us win because of the flood. Yeah. 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 Really? Us, just like when the Saints won the World Series or the Super Bowl, Super Bowl after yeah. Katrina. Katrina. No shit. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't huh. doubt that. I'll take it. I don't care. That kind of makes you sad now. No, because yeah. you know <laughs> no, what? We didn't win by win. <laughs> no, because I don't care what you say. <laughs> that, yeah, that, fuck that. That game five. There's no way you could rig that game five. They were trying to that win is that true. game. That is true. Yeah, that is true. I'll give them that. Yeah. Hmm. I never really watched so. Yeah, you're not a sports heard. fan anyways, right? I'm not supposed to. No, you're not a sports fan anyways. Oh. I'm not supposed to. No, well, yeah, wow. you're not you're supposed excluded, to. Man. Oh, court order. <laughs> we don't like your kind, okay? <laughs> Show them balls up your ass. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so Astros won the World Series. We got annihilated by Harvey, the Hurricane. Yeah. Yep. The Hurricane. Uh, not, Harvey not, Feinstein. Not, 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 not the producer. <laughs> and the other Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. the producer. <laughs> not the producer. We, we didn't get fucked Harvey up was not good to us last 2017. Yeah. Harvey was a dick. Yeah, yeah. Harvey destroyed my house. Not one steam. The, <laughs> not, the, yeah, the, of the course yeah. not. Yeah. 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 Fucking your Might house. Might as well. <laughs> this fucking holes. Yeah. Fucking. But we're recording yeah. this from the new yeah. studio. From a new studio. Yeah. So, I, got a, yes. I got a wicked scar no from... Demoing Rob's house. Did you? Yeah, yeah. you got like a tetanus yeah. shot or something. This it's still there. there. Look, look that at was that. A lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, like I, I thought. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I still <laughs> thought like when I when I first happened, I was like, what the fuck is coming out of my arm? It's like, is that bone? It's like, no, it was just a skin curled. Yeah, up. I told Rob like that <laughs> hey, freaked me the damn. fuck out. I told Rob like Paul's arm's about to fall off. He's like, ah, oh, just give him another beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did say that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> Nice <laughs> and just and, and with the nick of time too because he had a nurse on There's standby, nurse on standby and, and she was yeah. just about to leave. Melissa's like, "Hey, wait, 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 we got one more." <laughs> one <laughs> got more, like, yeah. There was multiple. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah. not multiple injuries. Well, that, that day. you know, PTSD. But, you but know. there's one thing. There's one thing I could take from that uh, 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 demo is that if you're going to demolish something, it's always good to have the right tools. And whoever brought that sawzall. Was a lifesaver. I remember yeah. trying to take away that. Uh, I we had, I stopped at I Home think, Depot and bought a bunch of hammers yeah. and shit. Oh, that's all. Shit. I, I should have brought it because my dad had a <laughs> brand You're new take one. That sheet rock with the hammers. <laughs> it was wet sheetrock, man. Yeah, it was, it was falling, falling apart. Off the wall. But I took pleasure in well in, in the, this your old studio of destroying stuff that I helped build some of that <laughs> the wires and stuff like that. Like I'm taking the shit off because I've done that shit before. 
And at, you, used it for, you used it for another job, didn't you? Cheap yeah. <laughs> 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 well, like at, at work, too. Like, we had to demo, like, old stuff. Like, I built this closet. Like, it's beautiful. It took uh, dressing all the cables and whatnot. I was like, nobody's going to touch this shit but me. Right, right. Nobody. Exactly. And I fucking and hard, I did. Man. It's my art. I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to destroy it. Nice. And then, yeah, once again, yeah, because after Harvey, too, you know. Well, why you know work? They um all, all that work for like six or seven months of rebuilding from uh, the the that flood in 2016. Tax it all went flood, it yeah. went to shit again. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't what, believe oh, that, that shit. Tax but you weren't flood, there, though. So yeah, and, touch and that he, stuff. Hewlett Packard. Yeah. yeah, you weren't there. They, they're like, oh, Paul did this. Paul who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, now since I've gone, yeah, <laughs> like they uh um. I wonder who fucking tore that work down. Like, motherfucker, you should have called me. At least I would have came back for that. <laughs> That's my fucking work. I worked so damn hard on there. Yeah, I nice. lied about my hours. I was there, too. I'm still waiting for Paul to... <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'm waiting for Paul to come to my house to run some wire, but he doesn't want to do that. I don't I'm waiting for him call. to come back and warranty the, the wire job that he did. The warranty? warranty? <laughs> we certify it? I got a speaker that's out in the living room. Right it's there. still? Oh, yeah, dang. I never crawled up oh. and looked at it. It's all right. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you feel like shit on the air. So you got to okay. like, oh, back up your so work, man. Bad. There's Damn. no feeling. There's no guilt going through my veins. So, you, you right. call, so when, when I had the guy install the AC, he's a, he's a friend of, of my buddy Brian's. They've been, you know, he owns an AC company. So I asked him what the kind of, what the warranty was on that air conditioning unit. And he goes, oh, it has a taillight warranty. I was like, what's a what's a tail light warranty? He goes, When you can't see my tail lights, that's your warrant that your warranty. <laughs> nice. That's a good nice. one. That's that's a good yeah. One. That's real good. <laughs> well yeah. Beautiful new studio in Rob's. It is a really nice, it is really nice. This is new a place. Nice. It is I think we may uh, bring back uh, uh Kilimanjaro the adventure recording some songs in here. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah thanks. I thanks for that bringing ride. up that name. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Hey, you set the mood. My I'm wife my ride. wife loves that name. Really? She, oh yeah, she loves Kilimanjaro? that Kilimanjaro? Yeah. At, at first when you she thought about, it, it she thinks it's a great name. And a lot of people that hear it also think it's a great name. Really? Nobody can see what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to um uh oh shit, I just turned off the recording light in the other room, so mm. that's uh, <laughs> Free for all. It <laughs> <laughs> was gonna come in. No, I was just saying the, the lights, but yeah. Nah. But, yeah, uh, I was I was trying to set the set Paul. See, I have a setting called Paul. Yeah, so, baby. So we turn on Paul. Ooh, there Nobody we go. Can see this, but, but yeah, uh, it's very oh, nice. A lot of purples What'd and blues. And <laughs> get a little neutral, new, new what, retro wave. Yeah. It's uh, called Paul. Water. Paul, oh, blue, oh, okay. blue, blue, purplish. <laughs> the first time he came blue. over here after we, after I put him in, I was showing him how, how yeah. the, the the lights work, oh, okay. and I programmed this, and I was like, I'm just gonna call it Paul. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nice I can Paul. do a little more adjusting for you later, but it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's it's, bad. it's yeah, a good it start. It's pretty sexy. Yeah. You can never yeah. satisfy Paul. But I can't believe that. Really, she she <laughs> likes that name. Right. Yeah, she does. She likes <laughs> that name. She's always liked that well, name. That's cool. I, I, I remember. Think that, it, I think it's just uh, you know, whenever you're in a band and you name your band, like. You always think the name sucks. Yeah. Like, no matter what. I've never heard anybody, like, tell me their band name. And, and I like Sneezeless. See, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Former like, Rob. Like, uh, like Billy Joe Rock. Armstrong still says to this day, he's like, I hate the name Green Day. Yeah. He goes, they picked that. And then he's right. like, I, he's like I, I fucking hate that name. It's yeah. so stupid. That's like, but it's, it's such a cool name. Like, yeah. it's, it's simple. And then, right. like, and Dave Grohl says the same thing. He's like, if I would have known that this would have been like a huge band, I would have yeah. picked a better name than the Foo Fighters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how Dustin Kensrue feels about Thrice. He doesn't like really? Thrice. That's a great he, fucking. I know he does name. not. He does not like it. I think he when it's not, that, when he, you're he that close it. to it, I think that that's that's the problem. Yeah, you know okay. I mean? but it's going back to what you said. It's simple and it's cool. Yeah, you know, what, that's all that matters. Yeah. Well, Adam, what all the Anthony bands you've been in, all the bands you've been in, what was the best name that you had, honestly? You could just like go back and like I, I kind of like that name. More I, than I can't I can't really say because like I am I help name all of them and I feel that way about every single band that I've yeah. been. No like yeah. I, I haven't really like really liked any of the names. I was in a band with my buddy Ryan and Kenneth called Summer in Siberia. That was a cool name. That's a cool name actually. Yeah. Summer in so, Siberia. Yeah, we were in that. I was nice. in that. Very band contradicting. For about a week. <laughs> uh, and and it's a it's 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 it was a hardcore band. It feels so nice. It yeah. was a hardcore band, and it was named after. So we they we picked the name after. Um, the Deftones, My Own Summer, uh-huh. and uh. Glassjaw, Siberian Kiss. Uh, oh, nice. nice. So we just took, like, our two favorite like, yes. the bands we were, like, uh, okay. going after and, like, took our favorite songs. <clears throat> and, 
Very nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> I like I'm them together. You can't see this, but he's making that the hand, <laughs> hand movement. We need to get a YouTube webcam version yeah. of this yeah. going on. Yeah. yeah. We need we're Joe, gonna, Joe Rogan this shit. Yeah, we're going to Joe Rogan yeah. this shit. Yeah. Got, what about you, got, Paul? What about Joe Rogan the, uh, your favorite band? You know, I, really, I, really, I really thought Secret for Apollo was yeah, a cool that's name. Yeah, that's with me, too. That's with me, too. If you ask me that same question, I'll take Secret for Apollo. I thought that was one of our best ones, and... Fair Lady Falcon was all right, but no, that I like, sucked. I hate that. I, <laughs> see, what's funny about the Secret for Apollo? What's funny about Secret for Apollo? Names. It really was the name that came up with was because uh, <clears throat> we were like into conspiracy theories, which we still are in. And you know, yeah, did we land on the uh, on the moon? Did Apollo <laughs> missions land on the moon? Who knows, right? But there's a secret going on, secret for Apollo. And yeah, that's a cool name. But then our friends came up and like, "Oh, you must be a Coheed fan, huh?" Because you know, in, in, in oh, Secret yeah. to Silent Earth, yeah, three, that's and true. The next album Good was Apollo. Uh, Good Apollo. I never Star even Four. put that together. I didn't either. You know, yeah, uh, I, I forgot I would, about that. I wouldn't have known about that. Like, people wouldn't have said anything. But, excuse yeah. them. I still like Secret for Apollo. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, that was still good. But you know, unrelated. Woo! One of his first ones. <laughs> one related to one of the first ones. Yeah. Yeah. I read the first one I was in was over the line. That was just a direct reference to fucking Big Lebowski. Yeah. That's, That's a great name. Yeah. yeah over the name. line. Over yeah. The line. OTL. OTL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. High school. Man. I was high forget. school. Which one came first? Uh, under Oath or Tomorrow's Goodbye? Under Oath. Unrelated. I mean, unrelated or uh, Tomorrow's <laughs> Goodbye? Drunk. I was about to say, y'all were in Under Oath? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I I, the first one. That was in was called Tension. Okay. Oh yeah, and that was. A, See, that's that. a cool name too. Like I'm hearing them. I wasn't in those bands, and I'm like, that's a cool name. That's no, a cool you know what? Name. I think of Tension. Yeah. If I think of Tension, I think but of tension, if you would have thought about it, I was it, in a you band called like, Paper Cut. How fucking? I mean, that's <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't holding back. I agree. No, but yeah, unrelated I, came I, first. Fucking unrelated off, came first. Fucking off the supplies. They know tomorrow's goodbye. Tomorrow's goodbye is a cool name. Yeah, actually, I thought that was one too bad either. I remember like we're trying to come up with it, and Will. Our bass player is like, you know, he was trying to explain it. He was going off a rant like, you know, yeah, because, you know, blah, 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 blah. I think he's high. And <laughs> it just didn't make sense. It's like, okay, let's just whatever. It's just tomorrow's goodbye. It doesn't mean shit. I think he, I think we're actually trying to go for tomorrow. Yeah, it's goodbye. Yeah, tomorrow is goodbye or tomorrow Make goodbye. Is, I remember something goodbye. like that. I remember, yeah, but we yeah. just shortened it. It's like tomorrow's goodbye. Yeah. So, well, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, that's history that's of band cool, names. Cool yeah. Band. Yeah, actually, TG, I admit baby, that was pretty TG. good. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. I guess settling for bad names, like it, it was, it was very. I'm very picky too. Like it's like I have to, you know, I have to like it. So, uh, yeah, I say for the most part, I like all our names. So yeah, I'm super picky, and I've never landed on a name no way yeah. kid. that I was a hundred percent about. And so I'm in a couple of cover bands now, and we had to name them, <laughs> and it was. You, it, trying to get six people to agree on the name of a band, especially when you have a generation gap, because some of the people in the band yeah. are, you know, they're as old as my father, and then there's right. some people in the band that, you know, me and the and the and the female singer, yeah. we're you know in our thirties, and the rest of them are in their you know in their fifties and sixties. Right, so right. Yeah. like we're com- I'm, I had man, I had some cool names. I really had a really good list going. They yeah. all got shot down, uh-huh. and so we ended up with Flashback. And I don't mind the name. I think it's an okay name. Is this but- a new one? Yeah, that's all. Okay. I mean, it's a band I've been in for a year. Jacob helped me run sound for us. Okay, uh, oh, we had a gig. Nice. Very proud of yourselves. Sound just sound pretty good too. Uh, so, I mean, it's <laughs> there, there's the other name. The like, I'm in another band that we play every once in a while, and it's it's called After Hours, and it's more loungy stuff like Van Morrison and the Eagles and yeah, stuff like that. Nice, you know, nice. it's not really like makes a sense. super party band, but you know, it kinda you know, it's it, and it's older guys and I wasn't part of that naming process. So yeah. I okay. really have no feeling toward the name at all. But like when you're naming a band and you're going through how many when you're naming a band, how many names do you come up with before you settle on like go into a practice with a list of names or send out an email? <laughs> yeah. I literally probably had 150 yeah. names that went out in emails that we just started doing. I started doing survey monkeys to everybody and I was like just pick all the ones you want and then all the ones that got the mo- most votes I narrowed those down and then sent them out again. Yeah. And you know, that's how we narrowed it down to like the names that everybody could agree on. Oh, okay. okay. That's, that's yeah, that's good. It, I, you know, um, I was gonna say something. <laughs> something changed. What, what do you think of this? Is it, oh, Elon Musk's uh, flamethrower. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hank Scorpio is Elon Musk. I, the, Simpsons. <laughs> oh! the the picture that you just handed me yeah, of yeah. the Simpsons with the yeah. <laughs> fucking flamethrower. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I man. E- Elon shit. is 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 you know he's an eccentric guy. I mean that's uh, it's yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> Let's be. It's that's, you know, if I if I worked for you know Elon, I I think yeah, I'm working for Hank Scorpio. That's awesome. <laughs> 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 Scorpio. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can give you my coat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going on and on with that. But then I also heard too that he's. Shooting a, a a Model S to 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 Mars? No, he is. So <clears throat> there, we're launching Falcon. He- or we we <clears throat> okay. So we, I I work for Tesla. That's no secret. Even though uh-huh. we've we've done a uh, the, there's the secret hidden podcast that we did all. The time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you you still still have that? It's the lost episode. Yeah, the lost episode. Yeah, that was great. I always the wanted to you send yeah. it to me. It's the, the lost, lost episode. episode. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah. the the legal legalese at at, at at Tesla said we couldn't publish it, so we, we never did. On how so. much money yeah. you throw at me? Um, yeah. Elon, how much you got? So we. As it, I guess it's kind of like you know, um, being like in one of Elon's companies, you refer to yourself as a collective we. Yeah. So the SpaceX guys do the same thing because when I was in I was in Costa Mesa in in December for training, and uh, we went to the SpaceX facility, which is in I don't know if y'all know this where it's, where the main SpaceX facility is, but it's in like. Compton, basically, <laughs> it is in. What's going on here? You it's know? It, is in, like, it, it is. It is in Inglewood. Inglewood, yeah, that's yeah. like right by Grove Street. Yeah. So, Home, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we went there, and in the back of the SpaceX facility, there's a huge Tesla building. Like it's just a standalone Tesla building, and that's the Hawthorne Design Studio where they do all the designing of all the new models. Yeah, and there's a huge supercharger station out there. So you, you we've referred to ourselves as like a collective we, you know. Right, mm-hmm. I understand. Uh, we isn't that about like we? Manhattan we? Beach? We? Like, we? Manhattan we? Beach? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Yeah. You said Hawthorne. Hawthorne's an area. In well, the... Hawthorne's the street that that's on. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So, gotcha, gotcha. Um, anyway, so we were over there. We got to see, you know, a lot of really cool stuff. Them building the, the rockets. We got a kind of behind the scenes tour of SpaceX. Nice. Um, that's but awesome. SpaceX is launching um, Falcon Heavy, and they're doing, you know, they're doing a test payload. And then yeah. They're gonna, then they're going to send a prototype of the manned space capsule up to see how it does. Mm. Or and then they're going to send a um, a another prototype with you know people sensors in it yeah and try to dock it to the iss oh uh, okay and then they're going to send a manned capsule to dock to the iss so um that's what their their goal is to send you know falcon 9 is going to be sending you know human payloads to the space station things yeah. like that so once falcon heavy the prototype launch is done uh they're going elon's next goal is to put something in orbit around mars with falcon heavy so uh. When they announced that, and this was years ago, the guys at SpaceX were like, "We're gonna whatever we put." Somebody asked them, "Well, what are you gonna put in orbit?" And they said, "Whatever the most ridiculous thing we can think of is." <laughs> so now that we're on the verge of doing it, well, Elon <laughs> says that he's going to put uh, he's going to put his cherry red Roadster. Oh. In orbit around Mars, <laughs> playing David Bowie's "Space Oddity." Oh, oh wow! Until, nice until Twin the battery Peaks. runs out. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow. I could have picked a song for him. What would this song be? "Space Oddity" is a pretty good choice. Yeah, you it's a good choice. It. I was thinking more like I don't even know something by Andy Gibb for sure. Andy Gibb. <laughs> Something ridiculous. It's not even space related, yeah. Nice, nice. Andy Gibb. Oh. But yeah. Right, so we have or I'm gonna switch topics and go to our yeah. uh, Ooh, discussion hoo-hoo. list. Our generator man. Yep. Uh, yeah. Come All right. Come you ready? Here we go. Okay. I can't see. Number yeah. fifteen. Number fifteen. What is fifteen? Let me pull up the email. Let me let me pull out. up this uh this here list right now. Right here now. Um Ooh, this is a good one. Number fifteen. The top five most influential artists or musicians to you personally. 
Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Well, the top how many? Top five. Top five. Top five. We'll what? start with Paul since he was taking pictures while I was talking. What? I'm not even paying attention. I know. <laughs> All right, so here's, here's top a, five? Top, that's a, that's yeah, a top amount. five. Top five artists or musicians that uh, most influential to you personally. Oh. Like either, on, I guess, on a personal level or yeah. like with your music. Well, or, or it, it fluctuates, but I'll get, I'll get down to the, the, uh, the very beginning why I, I, I interest in music is uh, like different genres was uh, definitely Metallica, Kirk Hammett was one of them, Carlos oh, Santana, uh, yeah, Russ people. Freeman from the Rippingtons, that's yeah. Jazz Fusion, and yeah. Herb Alpert, and... Um, that's so weird that you... The the Rippingtons. Wasn't Victor <laughs> Wooten the bass player for the Rippingtons? Maybe. I wouldn't doubt that. He's in the kind of jazz, and you know, gonna, Victor... I, I know who Victor Wooten is, yeah. He's one of my favorite bass players. Yeah, he's he's... Fucking crazy! Fucking me and my dicks and my bass guitar. Or is that one song? I was, I was Marcelo, my friend Marcelo. I don't know. There's a song and I had a game shit about whistle? him. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, the whistle. slide whistle. Yeah, my man, slide whistle. Yeah, here. yeah. Uh, th- those four. You know, I, I guess I'm just saying from a, f- from a foundation because I, I can name a shitload more. Like, see, that's four, five. Um, I don't. It's really hard for me to. The, because like I have so many people that that that, that influence me and, and inspire me, it's just, it's really hard to narrow those down. But as far as a foundation, um, though definitely those four uh, musicians right there. But the fifth one, mm, I can't really. I don't know. I'm, uh, let's say for like a newer artist, maybe. Um, man, definitely probably like Matt F- Fazy from Rare Futures, Happy Body, Slow Brain. Uh, and yeah, because that guy is, you know, he's a one man show and like he's such an amazing musician. Like, he, I mean, uh, he is good. Um, you know, those guys and just, man, or just, you know, even hell, bands like the Rain of Kendo and, you know, Thank You Scientists and stuff like that as far as like new artists, uh, newer yeah. artists. But yeah, yeah, I think that I think that Victor Wooten was in the Flectones, not the Rippingtons. Yeah, I don't even know. Have you even heard of the Rippingtons? Yeah, I have. I have oh, really? heard of the Rippingtons. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I found it's funny because my dad told me. That Zach Wilde did a guest. Uh, <laughs> he was on there. Did I tell you that, Jacob? You told me about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy. I listened to it. It's just some people Zach didn't like Sabbath. it, but it was hilarious that Zach Wilde actually did it. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah. really uh, far yeah, yeah. off his uh, you know radar as far as like music because they're you know really? they're jazz fusion and and you know he's just it's just him like just his classic you know shredding and then the squeals and just i don't know it sounded cool though yeah, i liked yeah. it but well, I mean, some people in the community he's a pretty, he's a pretty diverse artist yeah player, as it is so, yeah you know. well it was cool to see him do that you know i didn't my dad told me that like a, a few weeks ago i just didn't know he did that so that's pretty awesome and actually ripping tins are coming soon so are they that's i'm gonna cool. see them. they're gonna play a dosey do yeah is yeah is that out in Katie? <laughs> that's no off of 45 and uh between rayford and woodlands parkway right out the freeway right by your house huh yeah there's it's uh, literally well, then you want to know there's, where a, Paul there's, is. there's a uh yeah <laughs> there's a pawn shop says guitars guns and gold <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they are playing guitars, right next to guns it. And it gold. Yeah. Guitars, guns, and gold. And it's like funny. It. <laughs> they, they, Rippington's like the, the bass player or somebody in the band like years ago actually made fun of that too. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, you're in Texas when you see a, shit, a place that says guitars, guns, and gold for sale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what he was yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're going to be playing next to it literally. <laughs> I don't even know if it's against the guys in the band because cool, they have a lot of sessions players. But yeah, I seen uh, um, Al. Um, what the hell is that guy's name? Uh, Al. Frank, fuck, I forgot. Al Franken? Yeah. No, not Al Al Franken. (laughs) Sharp dude? Al, um, no. Damn it. It's a song called... The Rhyme Master. The Rhyme Master. (laughs) No. (laughs) Al, damn, I forgot his last... I don't know. Weird? Uh, Al 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 Jarreau? Al, no. No. Weird jazz player, Al Jarreau? No, not him. But I I saw... Al the Killer? No, now you're just making up shit. No, that's Cody. Al Stewart? No. <laughs> that's Cody the Cameron, man. Was, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It was pretty cool. I met him. I was drunk as shit. I got an autograph, so, you know. That's and, cool. And, um, you know, it's, just, yeah, it's a very intimate little place. It, you know, it's like dinner first and then, uh, you know, drinks after, whatever. It's, whatever. it's, just, it's a cool, <laughs> small dinner venue. First. It's real intimate. Yeah, 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 it's real intimate. Like, any any seat in the house is really good. You know, they got an upstairs balcony Sounds, yeah. and Sounds then intimate. downstairs, and it's 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 nice. Like, so, I've been, I've been thinking What's, about, I've been kind of polling people trying to expand my sound company business and trying to get into live recording and stuff and apparently there's this thing nowadays where 
um, these guys will go out and record. They'll tap into the, you know, they'll talk to the venue beforehand or whatever and kind of see the specs of what they got. They'll tap into the board and they will record the show live and then put it on USB drives. And they have mm-hmm. these these USB drive um, duplicators that can duplicate, like, depending on how much money you want to spend on one, that can do like 100 in like two minutes. And so wow. like, they'll go and record the show live, mm-hmm. do a real quick mix, and then duplicate USBs and sell them for 20 bucks. And it's that, that show, so you can buy it as you're leaving. Wow. wow. You know what I mean? That's cool. That is pretty cool. That's that, badass. That'd be pretty cool Like if I could get good at that. That's that's yeah. one of the things I'm looking at. So doing. is that like legal? Wow. Well you, well, you talk to the artist. You oh, I, thought you're like, yeah. I thought you are hacking into their picture. No, 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 no. Fucking <laughs> like hustling it's on like the side. Wa- walking in, like walking in trench with trench coat. Got the yeah, USB camera. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about this. Is this legal? No, there's, I, I have the ability to, like, to record, like, if a band wanted to, like, play Acadia Sports Bar or something like yeah. that, you uh-huh. know, I have the ability to, to bring my equipment and tap into their soundboard oh, and okay. not mess with anything that's going on up there, but I still get a signal to my mixer, right. and I can record somebody and then mix it, and, like, they can make a live album or whatever the, nice. whatever the mm. fuck they want to do with it. Okay. Uh, so that's that's one of the things that, like, I'm trying to get into that's more. sexy, man. Very nice. So, all right, Raph, you're up. Top okay, five. now, when you say artists... Any kind it of could artist. be any artist, yeah, right? Any artist. So, yeah, Picasso can be one of them. Okay. Yeah, okay. It could be the Picasso naked cowboy an okay. in Times Square. You know? <laughs> that loser. <He's> a, <laughs> Ron Jeremy is an artist. He is yeah, an, technically, he is. He is an artist. artist. Yeah, he is yeah. performing. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say a quick story, real quick, about Ron Jeremy. No, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, a coworker told me at one point, like, he was in a. Uh, Actually, uh, his, his friend was in a porn convention one time. Ran, he ran into Ron Jeremy. And he's like, hey, man, I want to be a porn star. What does it take? All right. Well, whip your dick out and start jerking off. What? I'm serious. Start jerking off right there. Like, no. All right. Well, you don't got what it takes. And he just walks Thank away. You, sir. Hey, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, what, that's what it takes, It man. turns out, like, it was just an Ron Jeremy impersonator, too. When even Ron Jeremy. It wasn't even Ron Jeremy. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hedgehog. But it, no, it really was. Yeah, hedgehog. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Rafe? Yeah. All right. Um, top five artists. Oh, hold on. I got something to, to add to that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that that whole deal reminds me of uh, there's a there's a Joe Rogan bit about Ron Jeremy. Okay. I, I don't know if you. I don't know. If this I got. This I got to hear. No. So he's talking about. Um, I, I don't know how he brings it up, but he's talking uh-huh. about like uh, like being able to suck your own dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. And he's like, okay. he's like, he's like, you know, look at Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy used to be able to do that. He goes, and I met Ron Jeremy, and I asked him. He's like, hey, can, can you still? He's like, no, nah, the gut got in the way. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes now, now. There's a perfect analogy. He goes of how 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 uncool or and you know whatever that is. He goes, there's a guy that could suck his own dick, and sandwiches were better. <laughs> That's right, man. Very nice. That's hilarious. So, if, uh, if you're ever wanting to, like, uh, whatever. That's kind of weird. <laughs> if you're, you can get stay away from those sandwiches. Stay away from those sandwiches so you can suck your own dick. Very nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a few more obstacles than that, but we'll go with that. Oh, that's warning. Awesome. <laughs> All right, um, five artists. Um, okay, they could be actors, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that too, because uh, okay, um, one of my tops uh, is Thrice. I'm gonna go with music. All right, Thrice is very, you know, uh, it's part of my life. It's in my blood. Mm. Um, That's a Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon. Nice. Oh, Michael yeah. Shannon actor? is a great yeah, actor. Great. Okay. He, I mean, when I see him, like a man with a thousand faces. Can yeah. I? Can I? Can I? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna backtrack you back to that thrice bit because it got the wheels turning up here a little bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna ask you. So, like, I I play a lot of uh, praise and worship music also, and I I played with um I played at a church where we were doing some stuff, and Dustin Kinsrew actually, you know, he's a hardcore Christian. There's yeah, a lot of yeah, Christian yeah. themes. Oh yeah, in yeah, music, he is. Yeah. And he writes a lot of he has a lot of praise and worship. He has a whole praise and worship album, like a contemporary praise and yeah, worship yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, is it, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna. I don't want to. One of the things I don't want to bring up is 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 religion. religion. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just. I'll just leave it at this. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to phrase this question correctly. It brings friends together. Does that? Uh, does that help or hinder? Like what you think about Dustin Kinsru and Thrice as a band artist song? The religion part? Yeah. Does that? Does that? It does. It, does, it, it doesn't. Like I. I does, don't even think about. Don't that. even think about. I, it? Okay. I just. just I listen to the music and it's just now is that a plus? Great, huh? Is that like a, does that add on to like the likey? I feel like if you're no, going, no, I it feel just, like, it, it has nothing to do. Nothing with to it, do with uh, it. Okay, yeah, no, I, mean, you, I don't even think about uh, the religion. The, re- you ask the religion me, aspect. I like it. It actually it broadens his of uh, his uh, his uh, versatility. Uh, pers- yeah, his uh, his perception on life through like you know just. Uh, you know him as this religious person, right, and right, right, right. It just offers a little more different on the table. Right. Just, I, I think it's pretty good. He does it well. I, I listen to the solo albums. He, and, you know, he does really it like good. to, I guess, to a certain extent where it's not like broadcast. He's yeah. not a ministry not, first. Yeah, right? exactly. yeah, yeah. He's exactly. not. Yeah, this is a ministry I'm, first and a band second. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna name any names. He said that. And it, although we invited them in the podcast, I could really call them out, and they never really got back to me. <laughs> Who are you talking so, about? Oh God! You just do you want to say it? I no. Just, okay. I just. Tapped into I, you. I okay, didn't open okay, up the okay. coffee. Yeah, fucking no, say it. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, don't be, you know, don't be scared. Well, I okay, fine. Come on, nobody I, listens. I, like to this uh, anyway. last year, yeah, well, 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 I don't. You know, I'm still cool with them. It doesn't matter. But last year, like, I, I wanted to do a. Um, uh, have have a couple of guests like uh, friends we personally know that actually got signed on a yeah. label and you know give their stories like what it was like on a road and what it was like to rough it out before they got signed and what just you know just tell their you know, you know stuff, yeah, yeah actual people that we know that actually were on a yeah. legitimate uh, record, record label, label yeah. which is, had to be a Vic- Victory Records which yeah. you know you from yeah, yeah. Well, well it was, it was, um, there, it was know, uh, I'm talking about before it was Rosalind oh uh, well, yeah, yeah. the, the vocalist you know Carlos and, and Jeremy, Jeremy yeah. you know yeah. I, I, I asked them both cause they want you know like Carlos reached out to me well, well he didn't reach out to me he said one time like you know on Facebook hey man let's let's hang out sometime you know it's been a while I was like sure and then like a week later it's like okay well, well you know would you like? I told him, him and Jeremy's like, would you like to go? You know, you guys like to be part of the podcast. You know, I told him what we wanted to do. Neither one of them got back to me. It's like, okay. Well, maybe uh, they forgot. Yeah. I, I think I, Jeremy. I, gotta, I, I, don't, I, always, I, mean, I always give people two tries. Like, I'll ask for right. something. Because a lot of times, a lot of but, times people will text you know, me both, or something like that. Both is like they well, maybe they needed to talk to each other first, and then they never got around well, to it. It would have been a cool podcast, but That'd the reason I, cool. I brought that up because, <laughs> well, like when they first got signed, they got a lot of shit because they did an interview, and uh, the and Carlos <laughs> said like we're ministry first and a band second, and <laughs> they got a lot of shit for that. Yeah, really? yeah, a lot okay. of people got pissed off. Of, well, not pissed off, but they just people were talking a lot of shit about that. Well, and, I can see that. I mean, people, yeah. it's it's a hot button issue, and, but uh, it's nothing against the guys. Like, I'm just, I'm not, you know, I'm still cool with them. I don't hate them or anything like that. But I'm just, I don't know why they didn't get back to me. It would have been a cool podcast. To I do. forgot. Let's be real. I mean, life happens. Yeah, let's, I yeah, life ha- hell, we went off the air for six months. And we didn't even. I, barely I, I honestly <laughs> don't think they forgot. I just don't think they were interested. Well, then it's that you know, simple. F- like, fuck people, well, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that because I, 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 I am. Rob is. <laughs> Rob is. Because <laughs> Rob is clearly I, saying that. I, 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 fuck I, don't, him, I don't know those guys. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. He's got Carlos's got a spoken word album too. Uh, Check it out. Kings of Daughters. Oh, he's got a spoken word. Oh, okay. Is he yeah. vegan too? Is no, he vegan? I don't he know. Too. No, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's, 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 he's doing what he's doing, man. Oh, yeah. I, I had nothing against the guys. I just really uh, wish I could have done that podcast. So, um, yeah, well, going back to we'll you. reach out. Maybe right, well, hold on. Actually, later speaking, on. Of vegan, you know. speaking of vegan, I found a vegan blunt wraps. I saw. I saw <laughs> your. I saw your Instagram post earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the hood for that vegan blunt wrap. Yeah, wow. yeah, gluten free, <laughs> organic. Yeah. yeah, just happened to be in uh, so, Acres Homes, so, and they had that. So when you want to smoke your, when you want to smoke a blunt, man, you know, I don't no understand how a, how a blunt could not be vegan. It's a fucking plant leaf. I'm I know. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they're all right. Vegan. No kidding. I never thought oh about God. that. It is a plant leaf. It's what fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh, uh, so are you on your first still? Thrice, yeah. thrice. What was no, no, second? I said thrice. thrice and Michael, and Michael Shannon. Shannon. Michael Shannon. Yeah, yeah Michael, Michael Shannon. Shannon. He's a fucking. He's great a pretty actor. versatile actor. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Like, oh yeah. Um, what uh, was the first uh, time you you saw Michael Shannon? And Michael what, what, Shannon. What, what show movie? What? Um. Okay. I I probably day. seen him seen him in a lot of stuff, but I didn't like 
really like take effect. Like, damn, dude, this is a fucking great actor. Um, shit, what movie really did it for me? Was it Boardwalk? Um, Boardwalk. Boardwalk helped. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't. Fuck, which one was, was it? Was it General Zod? It, it was General. Zod. Oh, I think it was, was General Zod. I think it was General really? Zod that that, uh, that really like, holy shit, dude, this guy scares me. Like, I got that from job. Boardwalk. I got that from Empire Boardwalk too, man. man. That guy was no, but I mean, two times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just that. <laughs> he was the best character in that show. Yeah, he was. Down, he was. Well, his actually, story, I like Michael his character Pitt. arc. I like Michael change Pitt. Just, I, I never watch that show. It's a good show. That's a really good show. It really man. is. It really is. Yeah. Season, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm, I've been, I'm pretty busy. I don't have time. Oh, to I know. <laughs> that show was years ago. Yeah. So. I'm just yeah, saying. You yeah. say you didn't like the show. I'm saying it's really I, great. I didn't say I didn't like it. I said oh, I Oh, no, you haven't seen, seen it. it. you never yeah. seen it. I'm sorry. I'm just saying it's really good. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So, okay. thrice, Michael Shannon, who's number three? Oh, uh, shit, man. I um, I'm going to go with Brad Pitt. Sexy, all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, favorite straight, movie is Seven. Straight so. Lust. I got it. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> what was your third one? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm sorry. Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Oh, Brad, Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, let's see here. Hold on. Um, so last your, night, I'm going right. to say something. Last night at the Joe Rogan show, uh-huh. when we walked in, they had these bags that are locked. Like, and they made us put our phones and our smartwatches in these bags. And okay, them okay. And handed them back to us at the end, like so you could unlock them at the end of the show. Yeah, but you couldn't have like so once you went in, you couldn't have your phone or your or a smartwatch uh-huh. or anything. Is that a cut at me because I was on my phone? Yeah, it, that's, that's, yeah. What, okay. that sounds like, <laughs> that's what I was getting at. That okay. sounds like a wait. Hold on, that's like a lot of fucking people hold the. Well, Chappelle hold does phones? that too. I think. Yeah, Chappelle does that too. No, no, no. Yeah. You, get, fo- you get your phone back. It's in a bag. You just yeah. can't get it out. How that's the hell is it locked? Deep cuts, it's it's like man. one of the, like those magnet. Like it's a the needle with the magnet. You know. The oh, nice you know like a, and you so like a, when you, you get to hold on, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you hold, hold on to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you hold on to it because you don't. I mean, they, they, they never talk yeah. about doing that. If you had to lock it up somewhere, it should yeah. go missing. Yeah, no, they they they, they okay, lock I them get up you. in the bag, you know, and, and they tell you like, we're doing this. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if we catch your phone, you're out. Like no second chances. Bye. Yeah, like we're kicking you out. Damn. So um, Cliff would be pissed. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was that was a jab at Jacob texting in the middle of our yeah. conversation. Yeah, no, it's funny yeah, you mentioned that awesome. though. He you. did uh, about the Dave Chappelle thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, Dave he did, Chappelle uh, did the same. Yeah, thing. he did. He did uh, three concerts with uh, John Mayer. And it was uh, I forgot what they called it, but it was like uh, definitely no cell phones. Like the um, yeah, they locked they it locked up, up, so yeah. you couldn't record that shit. But um, your best Brad Pitt movie uh, seven. Uh, I knew it's, that a great, yeah. it's a great yeah. movie. We had an yeah. earlier yeah. podcast. Right. We talked yeah. about yeah. like it was, movie, it was like what, what's your go-to movie when you're sad, you know, happy, you know, seven. Want to jerk off, you know, like what's, what's, seven? What's, Seven's what's, my movie. Like yeah, seven. What's the movie that if it's that's on, you quick, stop on on the TV guide and you that's what you watch? Yeah, yeah. A quick, guide, a quick pick me up, that. like hey, <laughs> seven will do. What's in the box? What's in the box? That's a great. That's a great movie. It's a great concept for a movie because. In that movie, you meet the bad guy just like right. I mean, it, it, there's no, yeah. there's hardly in. It, it's a detective movie. Yeah, but they, I mean, they catch the bad guy like yeah you know, halfway through the movie. I, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, true. And, yeah. And, and then that like dissolves. Oh, he all the gives conflict. himself up. Yeah, he it's, did, yeah. He was he was he was, a, he was, a, he was yeah, a, like two steps ahead of them, movie. and he gives himself yeah, up. Yeah, it, I yeah. never I've never seen a movie. Are you what? serious? I, yeah, never seen a movie. Oh my God. I told I, I, I told you this. I, I'm going to say it again. I said it before in, in, in a previous episode. But when a movie came out, every because like, like when I was younger, my dad would oh every Friday we would always go to the movies. We always go to the AMC, the, the old one that was in in Willowbrook. Um, it's like an academy now or some shit, <laughs> or I don't know. Yeah, anyway, to Michael, we would think. go and like my dad, you know, took they took us. I was like maybe when did that come? What year? Uh, I want to say seven, it was like 97. 97. Yeah, okay, 97. yeah, I was 12 years old yeah. when the movie came out. Like the very first scene was it was about gluttony, right? Like that huge, yeah, the big old guy. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I couldn't take it. It's like, man, I was like, it's like, yeah, I your dad I took you to that movie. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> took the <laughs> took the family, right? The whole family classic, night. Oh <laughs> classic Cliff. But I told my dad, like, I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to watch this. This is freaking me out. I was like. 
Here's twenty dollars. Go to the arcade. <laughs> we'll see I'm when we get out of here. Movie. I'm watching. Yeah, <laughs> now that's cla- that's classic parenting right there. Yeah. It's like here's twenty bucks. Go to the arcade. I'm gonna leave you alone. Like I want to watch unsupervised. This movie. Yeah, unsupervised. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> but see, my, then my dad took. He wasn't his, afraid know, about somebody yeah. uh, uh, abducting him. I still him remember or seeing, <laughs> still seeing. Shit, he handled his first gun at five. Die, <laughs> die. <laughs> Ten years old, I went to go see Die Hard with the Vengeance. That was great. I loved it. That's a great movie. I love yeah, that. Yeah. that I could handle. Not fucking seven. Question: Is Die Hard two a Christmas movie? Yes or no? Die Hard yeah. two? Yes. Or oh, Die Hard one? one? No, Die Hard two. Oh, no, no, no. Die Hard one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Die yeah. Hard is yeah. a Christmas yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 Me and you had this discussion yeah. at Christmas. Yeah. Because it's not. Really well, Die Hard two. Uh, you know, the it's snow not really everywhere. Christmas until you see Christmas die lights. Hard, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. So you're. Number, number uh, four. Uh, number four, uh, As Tall as Lines. Really love that band. I really, really as tall as say that band. again. What band is that? As Tall as Lines. Not Life as Lions? <laughs> Not Life as Lions. <laughs> oh, fuck that. As as <laughs> or We Came as Lions or whatever. The, no, no, no. no. We, as Tall as Lions. We Were Lions or whatever the fucking Rage spinoff band is. Oh, no. It's it's another one from a band from New York. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 They're a really great band. I fucking yeah. love them. Too bad they fucking. What yeah. happens? Yeah, because yeah. You, you know why, right? Why? Because of... What was yeah. that motion? <laughs> that means, y- y- yo. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. favored over, you know, beautiful music. Yeah. What, was, you know? what was that motion? I missed it. It, it, was, a, it was a rap. It was, a, it was, a, it was like a yo, to yo. rap, rap oh. music. <laughs> Is it a, a rap band? No, no, no. no. It is not no. A have you noticed? Have you noticed singer? that rap is getting lazier and lazier? Oh, dude, it is More. lazy. Is is it, yeah. just? Well, mumble. I'm just saying, like you know, yeah. The, the state they of call like them mumble music. rappers. Like, they just they just don't say anything. Like yeah. they probably get out three words every you know third verse. You and know? people are eating this stuff up. Like, oh god, I love. They this say stuff. that oh, you it's because I'm turned up. What the yeah? I fucking hate that But you know what? You know what's crazy? Listen and listen ourselves. Turn up. How much? I, I how much? I every generation. I don't listen every generation shit, so. is, is the same thing. We say the same thing. Like, you ever heard the latest music? And it's like Pearl Jam. Like, what is this bullshit? Like all depressed it, no, flannel. It's true. It's just, but uh, in hindsight, like it really is hard to defend that yeah, mumble defend that. rap shit. But you know yeah. what? Uh, really my coworker is, like, made a great because uh, you know in metal, it's kind of hard to find a good metal band nowadays. For yeah, some reason. it kind of seems kind of over. Per, overly produced and it's like it's like sludge kind of metal and but you know what he made a good point and like you know it comes down to politics when George W. was in president shit we got the Lamb of God genre it was very <laughs> political and everything and then you got Barack Obama which okay no metal is going to touch that but now you got Trump just yeah. give it a couple of years. Metal's coming back, baby. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, metal and punk rock. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> punk rock. Yeah, exactly, well, exactly. Yeah, I was they, gonna they're, say they're, they're writing songs right now. Like it's been a year. Like it takes a while to write all those songs. <laughs> <and> <laughs> the album. That's true. It's, in a couple but of months, we're gonna get. You made a good you know, point because you remember. The, I mean, No Effects released War on Errorism, but, which was a whole thing on Bush. Yeah, and it was a great album. <laughs> and, but, I mean, but, we're yeah, gonna get but, that about but, Trump. But, yeah. the, the thing is about that though. Like, uh-huh, I don't mean yeah. to call you out or anything, Jacob. Mm-hmm. You say like there's no like you know good metal bands of all. Well, there, there probably yeah. is, but are you looking for them? No, me, I really no. Because well, see, that's the thing. Like a lot of older people too. That are like, oh, there's rocks dead. And there's no great musicians. Like, I guarantee, no, I guarantee that those fucking people no, don't. Look no, for, they no, don't look for no, them. No, That's look, a problem. Yeah, but the thing is, though, what I'm trying to say is, like, I'm, I, Lamb of God. It wasn't a hard look, and I found yeah. Lamb of God. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying that it's probably not by the masses as it was. Yeah, you know, you know? now it's kind of being, you know. It's yeah, harder to there's find plenty, them. Yeah, yeah, it's harder there's to plenty, find them. There's plenty of great artists and musicians oh, out there. Just absolutely. they, you have to look for them. You know, and, and, and the gar- but, guarantee, but, like those, but those people, I'm just saying in the past, but, like, but they're not, they're not on big labels. That, that have to look yeah, deep that's what I'm saying. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, exactly. That, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like the people that lose all hope is like, is like, like I hear all these other musicians, like older ones, like, oh, there's no, I was like, what's your source? The fucking the radio, radio. No, exactly. the fucking you radio. No, you cannot no. go off that shit. No, exactly. There are plenty not. other sources you can go through. Like that, you can't know. That's it's too commercial, unfortunately. And like usually, right. it's crap. Right, Not right, all right, of it right, it is, right. but 
it just, it just sucks. You, you got to look for it nowadays. Like, it's just, exactly. you can't rely on it. Right. That's old school mentality. Yeah. And, and well, that, I mean, that there's, ir- a couple, that there's a couple me. bands that I, I really do, like, enjoy by, you know, looking like Closure in Moscow. I, I really enjoy yeah, that one album, good, but then yeah. they kind of veer off in, in the other album. That's not too bad. You know, there's, 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 there's some good artists, it's but their, they're not nearly as second, big as just, what it would have been in the early second 2000s. album. Which album? What's the that? The second album. I forgot what it's called. The one with Sweetheart. I forgot what album it was. Are you talking about the one you like? Or the one they went to a different direction. No, that's the one I like. With yeah, the one with sweetheart no, on there. There's some good. More. There's some good songs on there. Like it's just yeah. you know you gotta. Those are my stuff. I you guess know, I don't open minded like because it's, it's just, I can understand why you don't because you're used to that sound versus like where they went with this direction for the second album. Well, there's, yeah, there's another band I'm looking forward to. Their album as it came out. It's called Never Kept. Uh, that's the band, and they actually were looking for a singer, and then they had a. Uh, uh, Spencer from freaking Perif- periphery, um, yeah, periphery, yeah. And doing the guest vocals. I'm looking forward to that, but they haven't came out. So I'm doing my research on trying to find good music out there. It's just that I'm I'm laying the cards where 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 it's shown is that it's harder to find a good metal band. I'm just yeah. gonna throw this out there, or like, a punk it, band. Or something. Yeah. I haven't listened to anything new in like yeah. five years. <laughs> Getting old. I, I You're at that stage. You're at that yeah, stage. I'm now. at that stage. Like no. Like there was. There, I was at work today, and one of the guys and like it, it's a skeleton crew on the weekends, and so yeah. there's one other guy on the other side of the shop, and he had I I don't know what station he was playing or what he was playing it off of. But it was loud in the whole shop, and it was nothing but '90s music. And I was like, "This is my jam! I yeah. love this." <laughs> Every song, I was like, "Yeah, I'm this is it. awesome!" Yeah, yeah it's, good. It, it's it, it's one. Of, yeah, I, I don't know if it's a nostalgia thing it, or just yeah, like, it, it is, is. for me. It is thing. no, it's for me. Yeah. It is, man. You know, no, it, but see, I always told myself one. like I don't want to. I constantly like always like to look for new music and whatever who's out there and like whatever just you know see what's out there because as you know you musician just like to write music I want to hear what other people are doing right, right even if they're younger than me I kind of feel like oh these young bastards blah 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 kind of but I still like to uh, uh, be open and see what else is out there like I told myself like I never want to be like you know like I said, like example like my father no offense to him it's just like you know a lot of people it makes sense why they stop listening to a certain you know decade of music because like you know like you said nostalgia that, that association and you feel like you listen to new stuff it's like oh it's for young kids blah 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 I'm like nah mm-hmm. I like to constantly see what else is out there so I can improve my abilities my creativity as an artist to see what I can benefit off of them. I'm really. Right. I'm, I'm. That's what I'm just saying. I'm, 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 I'm more. Open. I'm going to switch gears and 180 this real quick because mm-hmm. just because you said that, now that this studio is built, like I really want your album that you're writing. Yeah. Like I really want to record that here, and I want to be part of it. I want to play on it. Yeah. I want to help. I like. Okay. I'm super yeah. Well, of course, we're already, already talking about that, but yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, yeah. people need to know about it. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's why I'm mentioning it right now. So yeah. I mean, you can, okay. Yes. Thank you. Can, you. you can yeah. hype it a little bit, or we can do a whole episode. Plug it in, man. Plug it. There you go. Yeah. yeah that's the, yeah. Let's just yeah. about to say that. Plug that shit. You talking yeah. about new music? I mean, hell, that's that, that's yeah. why I did this. Is like. I'm ready. Like I want to. Uh, yeah. I. I, I yeah. I, I, I can, I'm not a great writer, but I can pull inspiration and help people. Yeah. You know. What well, I mean? that's why I want like, you and Doug. You know, like I said, the three of us, like we can work on something yeah, or whatever. Doug's and a. He's a good I, producer. Yeah. And he's a. He has a great ear for producing, and he's a good drummer. Yeah. Which is like, that's really hard. Yeah. To find. yeah. Well, see, you know, that's the thing I'm struggling with on my own because I'm like I'm trying to learn percussion or not necessarily percussion but just trying to do draw draw, drum tracks on just the ideas i got and it's not too bad and i'm just but you know still based on what i got whatever Mm. you know we'll we'll, you know yeah elaborate we'll we'll go on that well yeah i think we should you know once that once that's done we should have a whole listening party episode that'd be really cool yeah that would be because i have like i have like 12 song ideas but i want to trim it down to like maybe just 10 song ideas you know or just or like for an album like just like 10 songs maybe it just depends what i got Mm. it's just but i'm just you know going doing what i can just learning more and more on my own and and uh but yeah i would like you know definitely yeah like we talked about before you me and doug sex and you know maybe this faggot (laughs) over here jacob yeah i'm not gonna be last in this party (laughs) (laughs) either i'm first over paul or i'm not over paul either you're first or you're last yeah it's his project it's his project (laughs) Um, all right right. look we've gotten really side to our rap number five who's your number five um city and color I don't even Same know who that is. So, oh, Dallas Green, Alexis on fire. Yeah. 
Yeah. Those words mean you know, those bands. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex Dallas is Green. on fire. Yeah, Al- Alex is on fire. Is that Alex, Alex Canadian is on fire. Heard of I don't know. Alex is okay. on fire. Okay, well, Dallas Green was a yeah vocalist. Okay, on there, but the City in Colors is well, it's full time thing. It's yeah, it's, it's just, great. I think it? honestly, I think I think you would like it. All right, I'll, you know what? Yeah, I'll, you know what? Listen I'm, to I'll, it. Yeah, I'm it's really good. I'll give it a listen. No, it's good. It's like his first stuff is like acoustic kind of stuff, and then he kind of goes into like like a blues kind of folky. Time it, it's really it's it's fucking great. It okay. is some good I'll give it a shit. Listen. Check it out, man. Yeah, it is some yeah. good stuff. He's a great artist, man. Yeah, really man. underrated. Really okay. good. Yeah. All right, Slagum. Slagum. Um, Number all right. Five. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> going to piss off Paul, but whatever. I don't Here care. we go. Um, what really got me into it. music? I, I, you know, I love music. Uh, I started off playing you know, a little off. keyboard come when on, I was a kid. Yeah. Piss Post- me Blink one eighty two got me. Yeah. To playing guitar. And I uh, love Blink. You know me. I love Blink. So. Oh, the first real guitar. <laughs> no, that's I cut my hair. No, you, you, people always bring up people always bring up like Enema of the State as like. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's a great album. It's a well produced album, but that's like not what got me into Blink. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie. Like their last album before they called it or hiatus. Like I actually liked it. Which album? Because the, the, uh, the self-titled thing. album. It's a good album. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a. They were com- open. It, it, it's, it's kind of. It a, changed it up a bit, and I liked it. It was enough well, to where I liked it. Yeah, it's a combination of everything they're doing. Uh, they were doing before the breakup, it was, mm-hmm. and and what each one of them was doing. Well, no, during no, no. the breakup. Actually, no, no, no. Then, I'm sorry, not that album. Not that album. The one in it came out in two thousand three. You talking yeah, about the self titled? Oh, that's still and the one with the. He's not talking about neighborhood. The one that I miss you. The one yeah. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. self titled album. That's a good okay. Album. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's then, yeah. that's the album that 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 Tom. That, those were a lot of Tom's ideas, and that's yeah. what drove yeah. him out of that band. Is mm. like he realized that I I think this is all speculation. I think he realized that he <laughs> wanted to do more stuff like that. That's why he went and did Angels and Airways. Yeah. Uh, he yeah, didn't want to yeah. be 45 and tell my fucking a dog. I actually like yeah. Angels and Airways. <laughs> That's the song, <laughs> right? Because he still he does stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, he still like does that. stupid shit. So I don't yeah. get it. it, it I, right. Aliens. Tom, yeah. Tom's one of the yeah, <laughs> He left, he, shit. he left Blink to go work for the government researching aliens. That that yeah. tells you enough. Well, right there. he has. Yeah. he wants your money. He wants you to invest into his uh, uh, to the stars program because they're it's about pretty, to unleash a lot of stuff. It's pretty interesting. It's very interesting. Podcast. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 and how he's he has a lot of stuff but, going on. He's working he with a, a lot a, of he has government. A podcast? Uh, he has. I don't know. It's not a podcast. He was on a Joe Rogan show or whatever. Yeah, that podcast it's Joe was. Rogan's podcast. Yeah, yeah, and um, no, but he has his own little gov- uh company called To the Stars Academy, and he has these books coming out, and um, he's writing like comics, I guess. And what he what he wants to do is to unleash all this material, working with uh government officials that used to work with the government, but in and release it to the public in a way that they can accept it. In comic form or in movie form, and, and and not necessarily just throw throw it at you. It's a fastball. It's a it's a, yeah, it's, a, a it's a transition. They're going to do a curveball to you, you know, and it's and, a, and, and it's going to be like a, like like I guess a learning curve, I guess. Yeah, it's like, it's but like, it, it's a smooth transition via yes, yes. like through like you said through through cinema and comics and shows like to explain what is really what, going on, what the what the government really knows and hiding from us. Instead of blunt saying, "Hey, there's fucking aliens out here." Da, 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 da. No, he wants to do it through Maybe film yeah, and like exactly. and through books and and just you to think explain that's what it. All these Marvel movies are about like it's real. <laughs> Probably <laughs> that's awesome. that shit's real. That's why he's trying to compete. He's trying to compete with the Marvel. Movies. Yeah, Damn. So, but the thing is, <laughs> I mean, I listen. It's a good. It's a he's good, competing. You know, we're kind of you know piggybacking and getting material off of another podcast. I hate to say it, but no, no, sure, just no. bringing it up. But I, I just thought, you, you know, uh, 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 just one thing I told Raph, too, like I was listening to it, was like, he's like, so Joe's like, what kind of ideas do you have? Like, oh, we got, you know, this, this and that. And then we got another, we got a one in called Stranger Times. And it's about like these 17 and 18 year old kids and they blah, blah, blah. This, oh, and I, was I remember like, this. I was like, this sounds like Stranger Things. And, it, and it's the same, almost almost the same title, Stranger Times, Stranger yeah, Things. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, and, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, see, the thing is, the thing is that I, what I appreciate about him is that he is so 
no matter how ridiculous it may yeah, sound, he's still sticking by his guns. Right, sticking yeah. to his guns, and, and he don't care if he's being judged. And it, yeah, and the thing is, like well, a lot of people, he's not a lot of people, yet after all this. <laughs> yeah. a lot of people talk a lot of shit in the comments too. If you've seen yeah. the video, like he's like, oh, hey, I'm Tom DeLonge. Well, uh, what can you tell us? Uh, well, I can't tell you about that. That's class. Exactly, class. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, people are like, why are you on the show then? Why? Why bring it up? I think in due time. But regardless, but it, yeah, I don't know. I remember how the podcast, that podcast at the end. And like you can hear if you if you listen to the very end of audio, he's like, "Are we off the air?" Yeah, later. Let me show you something. Like it's like, damn. On the Joe Rogan like, show. Yeah, oh, yeah. He says, I, he's I, like, I don't Let me show you that. something because like yeah, because they discuss like yeah, he's like, show him off he's the like, air I'll show like, I'll show you afterwards. Yeah, afterwards, yeah, yeah. He's like, let me show you something. It just sounds <laughs> sexual. It's like I had, I had to joke about it. That sounds like, like it sounds like there, oh, there, there's a. Oh, I'm on a Joe Rogan CDC talks. He did that show, Joe Rogan. Uh, what was it? Joe oh, Rogan. the bunks or, or yeah, or Joe, Joe Rogan. Like, uh, well, he did. He went hunting for Bigfoot. In one yeah, sure. you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he talks about that on one of his CDs, and he's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, these guys are so sad. You know, it's like, yeah. He's like, that drama kind of covered that too. It's hilarious. But um, all right, number two, okay. number two. Uh, oh, shit, what is number two? Actually, uh, I don't wait, mean to run. You did a run. Interrupt. Go ahead. What were you uh, I'm sorry. Okay, actually, you know what? I did mean to interrupt. Yeah, uh, I'm interrupting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did want to mention uh, John Barthol. He's actually oh. another one. Have you okay. seen have you, have you seen Punisher? Yes. I have you seen it. Punisher? I yeah. love Punisher. I have seen all but the last two episodes. Did you I like the Punisher? It. I have liked it so far. It I is loved it. Awesome, man. It is I, I went on a binge uh, uh, like oh. last week. Oh. It, he is, see think about John, the only thing about great. him though that I do not like what is that is that when he gets pissed off and, and if he does it on all his movies and all his his T V shows like he, he does the Batman voice. No, no, no. Nah. no, no but, 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 like, 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 whenever he's serious about something, he's pissed off. He just stares at you with these crazy eyes, and then he kind of looks off, you know, you know, and, and he just like, like, oh. talks to you without looking at you, and this and that. He, yeah, he yeah, does yeah. that all the time. I know, know what you're talking about. You know, Damn. you know what yeah. movie I really liked him in? Was that? I really liked him in all the Punisher stuff, but what movie I liked him in? The a Rock lot was the Mark Wahlberg movie was Fury. Get some blood, yeah, get some war in yeah. here. The, oh, yes. The tank movie. Yes. The World yes. War II tank movie. <laughs> you yeah. think you're a man he now? You think get, you're a man? Because you can walk and get some war in here. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. good in that fucking <laughs> movie. Oh, Brad Pitt was good. The yeah. whole movie was fucking That's a good yeah, movie. That's a really good movie. He licks the, the what's it called? Uh, <laughs> the, the eggs. <laughs> I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. <laughs> I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. Fucking licks her eggs. Who does that? Just grabs the whole egg. But, um. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I do recommend finishing off the Punisher, man. It's a good show. I, I, yeah. I, I just have to have time. I know, to I know. It. I got you. Yeah, so, for sure. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, my yeah. second one, um, GGG's, I, I just forgot, man. Oh, okay, so I'm going, you know, I guess the pop punk, punk rock, old school blink, right? Because they were punk at one point. But um, still music, because <clears throat> my music taste, you know, it's a broad, broad spectrum. But I would say Slayer, probably. Even though I got yes. into Slayer later. Mm-hmm. In life, <laughs> it's just really. I just. Mm. Love, it's still a form of punk because of, of the thrash metal. Yeah, it is and, true. Oh, right? Yeah, and, Sarah, um, Sarah started off as punk, right? Well, well, they're, well they're, I mean, thrash, thrash, thrash is, thrash is a combination is, is, of punk oh, okay, and metal. Okay. And I like, guess you could call it a, a form of. Yeah, it is like, no, like but that's what it is. is a form of punk. If, thing, yeah, mm. if you really look up the the origins of it, that's what that the thrash is ultimately a combination of punk and metal. Well, it but, uh, I don't know. It's just. I don't know space. what it is with Tom Ray's lyrics and and and, and Kerry King, Jeff Hanneman's <laughs> riffs, and, and it's just, just something with them, man. It's just I, I just it's, it's, it's love the, it. It's, 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 the, it's the God it's, hates us all tattooed yeah. on God's <laughs> Kerry King's arm, but it's pure God, love, man. That's that so is, yeah. I, I, I can I can you know crank on <laughs> Angel of Death and make love, or I can murder somebody, you know. I, 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 I'm serious. Like, nice. just, that's oh, because God, they're a great hilarious. band because their bass player is a singer. And when your bass player yeah. is a singer, that's, <laughs> that's, that makes that's, sense. That's, <laughs> that's rare, too. Good point. That's, that's true. That's rare. true. Yeah, man. True. Oh, God. But you only, said you can nobody make love. Gets, <laughs> that bass player. God is, hates a song. Yeah, yeah, so that's, a, that's a different Jesus. song. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, um, I, I, told, I told everybody that, you know, the, the – the most fun I ever had yeah. at any concert is at a Slayer concert. Yeah, you know, it just, it just, I don't know what it is uh, about but, uh, the the metal shows. Yeah. Uh, even though I love going to like the Blink shows and and, and punk shows, and what have you, because that really was the type of genre of music that got me into music. Just the metal shows. It seems like everybody is one big family in the mosh oh, pit. Oh yeah, everybody feeds off everybody. Oh, not with my dad. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, well, your dad got hit in the gut, I think. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. We was... talked about that the other day. We were <laughs> no in, a pit in, the, in the woodlands. Yeah. At the Slayer show. Some guy came out of nowhere and like just socked my dad in the stomach pretty hard. Like I saw him like you couldn't yeah, he was down. Breathe. He was down. That was bad. Damn. Like I didn't catch really? the fucker. Yeah. yeah. I didn't catch it. I, I, I would have caught yeah, the fucker. You got some assholes like that, man. Fucking... You got some assholes like that. But yeah. It's, that's not fucking what it's about. Man. Dickheads, man. It really is not what it's about. And I didn't even, you know, like, he told me this when he told me about it recently, like, he said he was he was actually hurting for like for weeks after that. I didn't know Damn. that. Wow. It, huh? Yeah. I said wow. Oh, they said how? Like because he got hit really <laughs> fucking. Well, I'm pretty hard. sure it would hurt like a motherfucker yeah. if he got punched in the yeah. stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Slayer show. But you know, you talking about lyrics like yeah, I put the Bible in a pool of blood so none of its uh, facts can affect me. Yeah, we're like. Or, <laughs> yeah. I, I reject this yeah, fucking man. race. Yeah, yeah. I reject Water this cups, fucking yeah. place. That's, but no, the thing is, is that um. I think we, uh, I think Paul and I, it was we, it was a hate breed, Arch Enemy and Slayer. We went to that show. At yeah, Rise, Rise I have Rise. not seen yeah. Slayer. Yeah, that was oh, great. Man. You know, honestly, yeah, I, I, I got to make my way somehow. Well, you know about their final world tour, right? Yeah, I know that they're on their final world tour, and and you know that I would go see them, but. I really don't want to. So <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer, man. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, I, I like Slayer. I, d- I don't dislike Slayer. They're yeah. not one of my favorite bands. I, I, I do like Slayer. I can honestly say I, can, I am a Slayer fan. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not a huge Slayer right. fan. Yeah. But uh, I, I do like them. But, I mean, they're not on my bucket list of artists that I want to <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah. Like, the last, like, real metal show I went to, I think, yeah. was like... Like it, it was yeah. such a big show. Like I, I, it was, it was so. The last like huge metal show I went to was was Testament. Um, <laughs> they're, they're playing with Slayer. They're, they're, they're playing with to Slayer. Spit out your beer. <laughs> <laughs> you spit out your beer. What's wrong with Testament? Testament? I, I don't even no. know what Testament I, 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 is. There's nothing wrong with no Testament is badass. Yeah. But there's a DVD with Testament and where me and Jacob were watching, and they did some cheap effect, and Jacob's <laughs> laughing. I remember he whines like cheap shit. They could have like <laughs> slowed it down, and like I don't know if you've ever done. I don't remember about Jacob. that. Dude. I, I never caught it because it was you, but yeah, yeah. Testament's good though. <laughs> so, so, I was like, that's why I was laughing. You said Testament. So the the show lineup was so epic that I, I don't think it could ever be topped. So it was it was Testament, okay, Motorhead, oh, okay, oh Motorhead, Heaven yeah. and Hell, which is Black yeah. Sabbath with yeah, Ronnie Dio. James Dio singing. Damn, two oh. people, all right? Damn, you guys. And then the headliner, was, the headliner and... was Judas Priest. Hey. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I, that was a good show. Then how are you going to top? Yeah, that? yeah. That was that like at the a Woodlands great show. Yeah, it was at the Woodlands. That sounds like I a think great I might show, have been man. there. It was awesome. I think I might have wait, been there. You said, wait, wait. You said Judas Priest? <laughs> yeah. Right? Was it a headliner? Yeah. yeah. With Rob Halford. It was the Rob Halford reunion. And you tour. said Slayer was there? No. No. no, no, no. We went to that you show with Slayer. Oh, okay. That was That's Black what label. I was thinking, yeah. We went to Judas Priest. And we saw headliner. Dimebag. We saw Dimebag with Black Label. Was uh, uh, Dime... well, Zach Wilde was playing with Black Label. And, uh, yeah, Dimebag, Dimebag was, was on the back. side stage. He wasn't playing. We, just, we just saw him. Checking it out. That was the closest to seeing. We didn't even see. I never seen him perform. That was the closest. closest. That's the only time where I've ever seen Dimebag. Yeah. A couple months later. How long was that? A couple yeah, months he, later, he, he would have died. He, he died. died. He uh, died. Where was that then? 2004. Yeah. No shit. And that was, yeah. the, that was the show, man. And I still hold, have it to this day. It's like one of the, the, the my prized possessions of, over anything. Uh, it's, it's a Kerry King's guitar pick. <clears throat> and I, I think you have one, too. I had one, yeah. yeah. And that, the that teeth on that thing, huge, man, it's all man. jacked up from all those guitar it's slides. Tr- that he, yeah. was, <laughs> he was sliding on that pick, man. That pick was huge, <laughs> too. Huge, like, <laughs> like, he just threw like, it and it came right at me. He's a small dude. You know, I met him. I met him a couple he's, years yeah. ago. Yeah, he's not that tall. At NAM when I was at, oh, yeah? Yeah. I was at NAM in California. Vietnam? Vietnam? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn uh, man, what you guys doing? I, at NAM, I know you're dude. talking about. You know, it. You know, <laughs> I know, I know so, NAM, so for yeah. people listening that don't know what Nam is, Nam is uh, the Comic Con of Music, the National Association of Musical Merchants, and it's basically oh, okay, that's everybody that's shows okay. up. Fender, Gibson, right. Mesa comes and it's like, here's my cog. Anybody, here's my cog. Anybody that makes a guitar amp or a guitar or a drum or a drumstick or a drum head, they all yeah. show up, and it's a big convention. And okay. All their sponsored artists come out and are you know pimping them and fucking jerking everybody off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really cool. It's exclusive. It's not open to the public. Um, so like it must I was be there. Very important, a, huh? Yeah, Wait, I, I did feel important. To the <laughs> nice. How the I had to know somebody in? to get it. Well, my buddy Sam worked for yeah. a guitar Wait, well, company and they had a booth, so I got in as an yeah. exhibitor. 
um, nice. but it didn't have to work. So uh, nice, we nice. walked around. And so you can, you know, I, I I I met Tom. I met Tom DeLong. You know, no fucking he was way. At the, yeah, he was at the Vox booth. Oh, I'm um, so jealous. So, man. Uh, Did you talk to him at all? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I walked up and got his autograph. I had an autograph picture of him. There's, I got some pictures on my phone. I'll oh, show you that's later. awesome. Um, I met Kerry King. He was at the. I forget what booth he was at. That's right. He, he was, isn't tall. He was. He was. You know, taking pictures and signing autographs with people. It's uh, like a tree trunk, man. <laughs> Kerry King, like a, a hunk of meat, dude. And just like Bob, I used to get his head bobbing. That's with, it. With, with a bunch of tribal tats. Yeah, and tribal tats. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the God hates us all on his arm. Don't forget about was, that. He was wearing sunglasses inside. Yeah, yeah he wears oh, sunglasses time everywhere. Time yeah. There, so. Piece of shit. Um, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I met Chad Smith that time. Oh, also. no. Will Ferrell? Yeah. yeah. He, he was, was, was walking. I was going to say that. He was walking, and I was like, Chad, can I get a picture with you? And he's like, only if you can do it without me stopping, because if I stop, I'm going to get mugged. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get mugged. Yeah. Well, mug, mug. He, was like, he was afraid to stop because people would just keep Come up and like, hey, oh, can I take a picture? picture? Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Like, I see what you mean by like, mug. Like, I'm, I'm talking to him, trying to like get the pic- camera up on my phone. He's like, I was like, all right, I'm ready. He's like, all right, you ready? One, two, three. And we stop, take a picture. He's like, bye. He's like, oh. <laughs> That's cool. I, I respect. I, like, I understand that. I was like, yeah. you know what? He didn't even have to do that. No, really. no. Yeah. Yeah. Been like, yeah. Fuck off. I'm busy. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, exactly. It, it was pretty cool. That's I mean, there's cool. a yeah. lot. I mean, it's a there's a lot of people in I there, bet. and it's people mm-hmm. like. But, assholes like me that don't really need to be there. Let it go, Rob. Damn, Rob. What, I mean, and, 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 and another story from that, like, so they had like an In-N-Out burger set up in the back corner, of the <laughs> so that course. you didn't have to leave California. <laughs> yeah, so you could go back there. And, God and damn. Eat. So uh, every day, that's where we. So you don't have to leave the convention center. It's in Anaheim. California, okay. By the way, oh, yeah. nice. uh, so we're. we're one day we're back there, we, you know, we get our lunch and they have all these huge round tables, you know, I don't know, 12, 15 people sit at a round table. You know, okay. There's, there's 30 or 40 of them back there. And so, <laughs> we, you know, we're, we got our food and I'm with my dad and some of his friends and stuff. And so we're sitting down and we're eating. By the time I get to the table, my dad's like talking to one of the guys at the table that we don't know. Okay. And I'm looking at this guy and I'm like, God, this guy looks fucking familiar. And I'm like, I, th- <laughs> I think this guy is a musician. Like, I think he's a rock star. I was like, I got to see his badge to be sure, because I don't want to call him out and be wrong, because that'd be super embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Be like, dude, you know who you look like? But it was, it was Art Alexakis from Everclear. Uh, uh, I saw that picture with yeah, your dad. Yeah, uh, my, dad's like, my dad has like the <laughs> damn app on his yeah. phone, and he's like showing the guy where to go. And he's like, "All right, so you go over here to this booth, and then <laughs> awesome, dude, over awesome. here." And Art like pulls his glasses out of his pocket and puts his glasses <laughs> on Harold, you know, and, fucking and, Harold. And, and, and so like, I didn't say anything. I didn't want to cause a scene, you know. Yeah, so yeah. like. I was, uh, they were like getting ready to leave, and I was like, hey, Art, before you leave, I was like, can I get a picture with you? That'd be cool. He'd be like, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, he took a picture with me. So that's awesome. That was nice. Yeah. That was his cool, bass man. player, Freddie, was there too. So we took a picture, like all of us. I was like, that's oh, really cool. Okay. And I told um, him, I was like, you know, the first song I ever learned how to play on guitar was Santa Monica. And, you know, I told, he, I told him that. He was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, and he, he was super ch- humble, super chill, relaxed yeah. guy. And okay. He was just there, like, checking shit out, and then he was gone. You know? yeah. Shake at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get away from me, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's very bad at those stories. Like, are can, very, I, can I take a picture with He's you? He's like, yeah, sure, man. Here, hold the camera. <laughs> take, a <laughs> take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. And of me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. us two. All right, uh, Jake. Well, right, so, go ahead, go ahead, I'm not, I was just gonna say because we were talking about Slayer. Slayer yes. I can't help but think of fucking Logan. Our buddy oh, no. Logan. Yeah, our buddy Logan. Just, oh, okay, well, first, story. first, but first, the way we met Logan is that we played a show at Cardi's, and they were in the band, in, in the band called Endo Me God. Yeah. They actually were cool <laughs> as shit. They loved our music. We loved their music. They were yeah. a metal band. Oh, and then um, after that, there, we, we exchanged numbers, I guess, and yeah. like, hey, come party with us, and then we, we were not making, metal did either. You put out on the first day? No, we could have. <laughs> Close, but... Uh, yeah, they live over there. Fucking men, what they, do you they live over there in Palestine, Texas, in yeah. Waco, Texas, and yeah, I know in the Bloomfuck town, dude. Between in, yeah, literally in the it's woods. like between Dallas and Houston. Yeah, I know exactly well, where it's finished. at. My my, yeah. my my dad, my grandma, or whatever. My dad, it, um, like they grew up in Jacksonville, Texas. Well, which yeah, is right. No, well, I mean, it's right next to. Palestine, well, then you would know Texas. that oh, okay. Tom Araya has a little ranch in Buffalo, Texas. Yeah, I did know that. That's <laughs> but Buffalo, Texas is right off of forty five. I mean, that's yeah. not that far out mm-hmm. stretch. Yeah. From it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like, it's right, there. <laughs> yeah. it's right there. But go ahead, finish it up, Paul. No, I was, yeah, because we, we met this guy, and like, me and Jacob became, you know, pretty good friends with him, and he lives in Buffalo, and he told us, like, yeah. I I work for P, you know Pizza Hut. Uh, pizza, yeah. No, no Pizza Inn. Oh, the pizza. It was oh, Pizza Inn. Inn. Okay, pizza okay. Inn. Yes, the good, the good, the good pizza. That's really good. And <laughs> God rest their souls, Mr. Gaddy's. Um, 
this chick- <laughs> Damn, we're going way far back, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. I, I don't even think they exist anymore. I'm pretty sure that there's still a Mr. Maybe Daddy just somewhere. one, the yeah. one. Anyway. Like there's a blockbuster in Alaska. Yeah, like yeah right. I heard about that, yeah. So, damn, excuse me. Um, our buddy Logan was telling us, like, yeah, dude, we're you know fans of Slayer. Like, he's like, Tom Maria from Slayer lives in Buffalo. And, I, and he's like, I deliver pizzas to him all the time. Like, really? And he told us, like, yeah, uh, we, when we went over there one time, he showed us where he lived. Yeah, there's fucking two gargoyles and, and, in the driveway. Yeah, it was, <laughs> no, it was, it was a fucking, it like, looked like a shitty fucking bumfuck trailer home. Extended, and, though. And, yeah, it was like, extended, like add-on to wide, it. Like double a double wide. Yeah, double wide. Yeah, and, but, and you can tell, it's like, you know, well like, what, what, yeah, what confirmed it was Tom Rea, like Jacob said, he skipped way ahead. <laughs> Um, that it was like it, had, it was gated and he had fucking two little gargoyles on top I was like oh that's Tom that's definitely fucking Tom <laughs> and you know after a while it was cool like he like he, deli- he delivered pizzas to Tom like Tom actually requested him they became kind of friends and like they were you know were cool and eventually um because like they they lived that little I don't know <laughs> that shit whole fucking uh, uh, double Y for a little bit I guess it's temporary because Tom was getting a house built like and, that you know it's way more sense. yeah he was getting he was getting a house a nice house house built you know somewhere in Buffalo kind of like you know on its own and whatever so one day he you know he you know he orders and you know he requests them he comes over he's like hey man I want to I want to show you something he's like yeah okay so uh, Tom goes you know. Uh, uh, brings uh, Logan brings into this in. one room, yeah. and uh, uh, like a huge like wall of like all his bases he's got. Like it was, like, it was fucking huge, just like nice, it's, like all these walls. He's like, all right, cool. He's like, I tell you what, he's like, you got time? He's like, yeah. I was like, I want to introduce you to somebody. It was fucking Carrie King. Carrie King was there, really? jamming out. Just yeah, out. and Carrie fucking King was there, and he's like, man, he was just shitting bricks. He's like, fuck, man. So they're hanging out, and they're talking, but then. At one point, they that brought can't, that can't be his permanent house. That's like a vacation house or something. No, well, well, I don't you, know. If you, go to Wikipedia, if you go to Wikipedia, you can look it up, and it says that he does have like a it's like a little ranch in Buffalo, Texas. Okay. So it's okay. like a kind of a home away from yeah. home. Yeah, okay. Because okay. I think okay. they live vacation. in L.A., so, California. You would have to. <laughs> well, then you know, like he said at one point, like they're talking, they're you know, you know, have a good time, whatever, and <laughs> they brought up religion, <laughs> and Tom. <laughs> Array is a devoted yeah. Catholic. Yeah, he is a Catholic. And man. and Kerry King is a fucking atheist. atheist. And they they start getting into it like <laughs> I don't know how like it just seems funny. And he's like, uh, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> like, he's, just fucking, he's just took off. It's like it's just getting too weird for him. That like, is so awesome. Though, I would have I would have stuck around. I would have like, believe- quit my job. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck it, I'm hanging out. Fire with you. and be like, yeah. sorry, dude. You know where I was at? Fucking <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know I was delivering pizzas. To? Shit, dude. Like, yeah. like, there's no way I could leave a conversation about but, Catholicism versus atheism between yeah. Yeah. King and yeah. fucking Tom. Maria. Yeah. Are you serious? No, I'd have pulled up a chair, <laughs> ate some of the pizza that yeah. I delivered, and just listened to that shit. Yeah, but I mean, either way, he said they're they're really cool guys. Like they were like just yeah, you know Carrie down King to earth was and cool. I mean, I mean yeah. Man, I mean, I've but see, you know, I've heard cool. things too that Carrie King can be a fucking dick. But man, it's just taken uh, out of context. Uh, yes, sure. in circumstances, yeah, that that you know that makes sense. So, yeah. but either way, he said it was you know they were cool and you know it was just a good experience. Like that's cool to know. Like you lucky fuck and. You know, wish we could have done that, but uh, well, well. Yeah, well. So, uh, whatever. <laughs> so, I haven't learned. so, where are we at? Four, uh, so number, that was, yeah. that's my number two, man. That was that was number two. two. Jesus I know, right? I'm sorry. Number <laughs> three. Okay. Let's stop interrupting. Let, yeah, still, still, still music yeah, related. How, why are you apologizing? We keep interrupting. Know, yeah, you guys <laughs> fed off my shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, number, yeah, number three. Number three. Um, still music related. Um, okay. I, and, and if you guys are going to read a book, I would definitely recommend reading. Read. It's a biography of Jim Morrison called Nobody Gets Out Here Alive or Nobody Gets Out Alive. And okay. um and it was during my time that I was like hardcore into the doors and I was reading, you know So are you are you saying Jim Morrison or are you saying well, this I, book? Jim Morrison no no Jim Morrison <laughs> The Doors. Okay. Definitely the doors. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. but Jim Morrison I think is one of the greatest lyricists out there that you know, you know he died at 27 but i think you know allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly yeah, yeah. how do you but, allegedly die well, there's, it, 
<laughs> this is another off well, topic. You know, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to happen, get man. into okay, something, okay, but, okay, no, no, okay. but like, okay, so we'll it, put a pin on yeah, this we'll kind of got me into that. like a prog rock <laughs> phase and, okay. and, and kind of going from, okay, it's either punk rock or, you know, thrash metal, fast, you know, whatever. But it, it kind of got me into like, uh, besides Coheed, it got me into a little prog rock was The Doors and, you know. Um, I, even last night I was just jamming to a song called Peace Frog and you can actually listen to Robbie the guitar player harmonizing hey, his fucking <laughs> own guitar <laughs> and he's going up a scale like doo, 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 and he's harmonizing his you shit you know what I don't like about the doors What's that? there's no bass player uh, well, you have. Yeah. Well, that's what the keyboard <laughs> player took care of. Yes. Ray, he I took care of that. It's double Man, duty. Manzan Eric or whatever his name <laughs> is. Yes, Ray Van Yes, Man's he Man's took Eric, double, you know, and double and duty. And that was, that yeah. was kind of a crusher when he passed away, like he in 2012 duty, yeah. or 2013. Yeah. Uh, Ray Man's Eric. But um, the only ones that are alive right now is the, is the drummer and Robbie, the guitar players. Which is will be kind of cool one day before I die to meet them. Yeah, they're, they're, I just love the scene in, in, they, in, in, the, in the movie, uh, the, the the you know the, with uh, Val Kilmer when he's getting before they, they die. die. Before <laughs> I, they're die. like in their seventies. No, 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 but <laughs> when, when, when Val Kilmer is in an elevator and he's getting head and he's laughing, I just think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Val, just beautiful. Val Kilmer, it, that's one of those roles. It's like it's like Harvey wow. Weinstein. <laughs> it, it's like. <laughs> 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 that's, that's one of those roles, like those <laughs> casting roles. You're like, wow, like that's oh, that's a good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. he, he oh, did no, good. No. Job. He, he almost did. he almost looks like like him. I saw he looks a real a hell of a yeah. yeah. Like him. He did, hey, you know, it was, it was good. Did you, uh, like Michael Keaton looks like Bruce Wayne. I don't know if you've noticed that. I noticed that. What? You know who would make a good Bruce Wayne? What'd you say? Jeff Ham. How Michael Keaton looks. His like name Bruce Jeff Ham. Or who, who who played in Mad Men? Uh, John, John, Ham. John Ham. John Ham. He would John be a good Bruce Wayne. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but what were you going to say, Ralph? No, no, no. Uh, y'all mentioned uh, Val Kilmer uh, playing uh, the... What's Jim it Morrison called? in the doors. Yeah. I'm good. I'm a ham. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, he also played uh, John Holmes in a movie called uh, Wonder Wonderland. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like fuck, but we're not talking John about John Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, John Holmes, yeah. The porn, the you know, porn you know we're talking about the door, so... No, no, I understand, but I'm just saying... Okay. That's how we veer off into shit, Rob. Playing John okay, Holmes, sorry. though, is fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what this is all well, about. Well, speaking of which, you know Val Kilmer? Have you, you know, he, is he your number four? Because we need to keep... No, he's not, he's not number four. <laughs> okay, we'll, 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 swap, we'll, we'll touch Val Kilmer later. Okay. Uh, number four, who will be number four? Okay, going into my, I guess, reading, um, there's a couple of them. I'm going to go four and five. Four, because I'm into conspiracies, will be Jim Mars, which who recently passed away Ooh. last late Rest last year. Soul. Um, which him. is very, very. I know Paul's bitch ass man. I was very, very drunk. Not just Paul, cool. but Paul's <laughs> bitch ass man. Damn. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Damn. Put some but stank if, into if that. If you're gonna read anything from Jim Mars, <laughs> if you're gonna read anything from Jim Mars. Read <laughs> Alien Agenda. Uh, it's the first book I read. Uh, the Terror Conspiracies about the 9/11 conspiracies, and then um, probably um, uh, I don't know the Fourth Rake. Probably I don't. Uh, the be, fourth what? Fourth, the fourth, fourth Reich. Reich. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's what I the, that's, that's well, it reeked because uh, my book was dirty as hell. Um, but uh, then I'm, Hunter S. Thompson is another yes. another yes. another hero of mine because of the fact that um, uh, I like the way he, he the style of journalism that he did. He was Gonzo style. It was yeah. pretty much up forward. He don't care if you made the whole situation awkward. He's gonna make it awkward for you because he wants you in your in your raw state. We can't stop here. Why? This is back country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that, and that was in Barstow. Dude, 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 yes, dude, dude. Yes, yes. I still have the painting you did of uh, Hunter S. Thompson. I still whoa, have whoa, that. Whoa, 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 yeah, okay. Time out. You paint? I, I used to paint. Yeah. I, I used to tattoo as well. I don't yeah, remember. I tried to get you to give me a blink tattoo. You remember that? For uh, how long? I, I don't even remember <laughs> that. Was I drunk or what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you were like, I need people to practice on. I was like, come tattoo me. You were like, all right, I'm going to come over. Never showed never, up. Never, <laughs> never could I, 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 I did the happen. blink tattoo on me. I know. I, wanted, I never I finished gonna, it, though. I was going to let you tap me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, he uh, painted uh, Hunter, uh, S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson. And I, uh, uh, he showed me, and he was like, hey, man, uh, what do you think? I was like, dude, man, that's fucking badass. And out of the blue, me and being Raph, I was like, uh, being me, 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 being Raph, me being Raph, I was like, hey, man, uh, can I have it? <laughs> he was like, yeah, dude, take it, man. I was like, holy shit, are you serious? I fucking took that home. I fucking hung it up. It was, he jerked off still, that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> But if, if you're going to read any Hunter Thompson books, definitely read The Rum Diary. Um, I think the book is a lot better than the movie. Uh, is there a movie about that? The, the movies with Johnny Depp because Johnny Depp and oh, Hunter Thompson were best friends. What, well, what was the movie? What was the movie called? The, the Rum Diary. Was it? 
It's called the Rum Diaries. Is that the one where Benicio Del Toro plays? No, 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 that's no, no. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear and Loathing. Okay, yeah, Fear yeah. and Loathing. And that's another good book. And two steaks. <laughs> no, <Yeah. see? laughs> Bo Bird, Bring them to me raw. Bring them to me raw. <laughs> bring them raw. Oh, man, I'll you got to like, uh, see. And, 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 and I told Paul to read the book, and I gave him the book, and he read it. But um, there, there's part of the book that, you know, there's a character that wasn't even in the actual movie, which. Yemen. The, yeah, Yemen. <laughs> he was he was a, a big part of that book. And I don't get why he was. Yeah. He kind, they kind of transitioned that that character into another character and put two characters in one in the movie, which like, I think com- that was Composite, BS. I guess yeah. you would say. Uh, but whatever. But, um, I haven't def- seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. No, no it's not so Fear and Loathing. It's, it's The Rum Diary. The Rum Diary. The Rum Diary yeah. is a damn go good watch, read. I'll go watch The Rum Diary. Because and, and, I'm and, not going to read the book. I'm just going to say it. Right. The, the book is a, it's a good read, though. It's a quick read, too. Um, so if that, you ever yeah. like the movie, check the book out because the and book is a lot better. That was one of his... Like uh, um, uh, f- uh, fiction books, right? The like fiction that was, book, yeah, was yeah. one. Well, because like it, it, he hardly ever book, did. Yeah, yeah, it was a fiction book, but it was kind of starting off based on because he did go to San Juan yeah. as a young journalist in Puerto Rico, and then he kind of branched off. It's kind of based off certain facts that he went through. Yeah, but m- mainly fiction. Mm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, read that one. Um. Uh, Generation of Swine is a good book. It's a lot of his like. Uh, articles that he he sent out to mm-hmm. ESPN because he used to work for ESPN. I feel so like that. a fucking retard because I don't re- I haven't read a book <laughs> like so I read a book in forever. Hey. But like well, see, if I find a topic that I want to research, I'm, I'm, I will sit there. I will I will research and go and dive deep into the net and read articles and shit like right, that. Right, right. So, but I have not sat down and read a book. Like uh, and, and speaking of things like that, I'm, I'm going to shift gears and go off topic. Well, again. before you do that, before you do that, let me finish okay. my last book. The generous, it. Generous, I'll, generous. I'll, on my top five, okay. I'll do. I'll do this because okay. it. Okay. The, uh, then the last book is uh, uh, the Kingdom of Fear, and that's his last book that he actually wrote. At the very end of the book, it shows his suicide note, and it's uh, he actually they okay, he so killed. I didn't know that Hunter he ki- Thompson killed, he killed, killed himself, himself. Okay. Yeah. behind a typewriter typing up his suicide note. But people say that he actually was murdered and stuff like that because he had information he was going about to release whatever. I don't know. But they said the actually, same thing about Chester Bennington. He, really? And, uh, I didn't hear uh, that. I didn't even hear uh, about really? that one. And uh, uh, Soundgarden. Chris Cornell. Yeah, I yeah. didn't hear about that. Really? They said that's why they're really? desperate. Like there was some kind of like deal. Like they were about to out some producer in Hollywood for like molesting kids or pedophilia wow. or something no like that. No shit. And that's why Chester was killed and then that's why Chris Cornell was died right after that. That's no, it's the other way around. Yeah, it's the other way, way, way around. Cornell first. Cornell, and Cornell first. Because yeah. yeah. they were working on a book and then like, because apparently like the book was getting ready to be published and uh-huh. then like the, the, at the same, Chris Cornell committed suicide. Yeah. Right? And then the transcript apparently disappeared, and then Chester Bennington committed suicide. That yeah, would surprise uh, me. That would not surprise me, man. I didn't yeah. know. That, I didn't know about that. That's they, were work, they were friends, and they were working on it together. Yeah, well, that's because sad. there's plenty. They're, they're, they, they talk about interviews with Chester Bennington where he talks about suicide, and he talks about how like how depressed he's been and how <clears> far <throat> down he's been, and he's even said like come out and said he's like I've been down there. He's like, but I've never. He's like, he's like, honestly, I've never even thought about suicide. He goes, I couldn't do that to myself or anybody else. Yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. So, yeah. like, okay, the, you know what I mean? Like, so he's flat out said that, and that was not that long ago. Oh, so, anyway, okay. that's another you know conspiracy theory. Wow, uh, okay. well, that's interesting. interesting. I'm going to look yeah. into that. But that's my, that's my top five. Uh, Brob style. All right, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We've we spent the whole time talking. Uh, about this, so I don't have a top five. So, uh, <laughs> Damn! I am your top five. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do top five. Uh, am I in your top five? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do top five things that are gonna. You know, we'll 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 do some things that'll that'll uh, you know bring up. You know, things that are uh, things to discuss. How's that? So there you go. Uh, actors and musicians, top five influential. I'm gonna go first off the bat. I'm gonna go with MXPX. Uh, I love that band and I love that band for a really odd reason. That was the first like pop punk band or band in general that I realized that a bass player could be a front man and lead singer. Ah. And it's all about you, was, Rob. Huh? And that was, it's all about me. This is, this is my top five. Uh, so I mean, that was, that was one of the things that like I, uh, uh, you know, I, I, yeah. that's one of the reasons that I really like them. Cause I really connected with them. On stuff like that. Are you doing sound effects? No. Do I need no. to get you a sound effects no. board? No. I can get you a sound effects no. board. No, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm done. Nice, I'm nice. done. I had to do that. And I was just. I was like, uh, I'm gonna go number two. Uh, we're gonna do a joint number two. Uh, I we're don't. Gonna do, I, we're I, gonna do an Elon Musk. Is beneath me. We're gonna do an Elon Musk Nikola Tesla number Ooh. two. Ooh. I'm surprised that wasn't in pause. I'm Ooh. surprised it wasn't. Well, either. no, because I, I I was under the impression that, that was just music. I, I misunderstood no, artist you. Artist or musician? Did yeah. You know I, 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 well, artist, there's, there's, there's a lot really, of things you can talk well, about. Tesla's he said book. artist or musician. Not, well, he's not really making, necessarily. He was, he was making an adventures is that not art? I'm, that's not necessarily. That's not necessarily an art. It's art, man. That's art. I would consider that somewhat of an art. You flip a light switch. I was Mike, watching this. No, I was watching his this intentions was to help people out, and it's, yeah. I don't know. Just that to me, that just doesn't seem like it falls into for so, for the category. I just I just heard this the other day, and Paul's probably heard this before, so I'm going to bring this up for discussion. All right, have you heard the conspiracy theory that Nikola Tesla was murdered, and that that's how he died? He was murdered because he had actually figured out how to make wireless energy work, and had finished his death ray and he was killed for it mm, i no i i could see why that would be one but i never heard of that no so i was That's watching completely I was new watching, to me. Uh, a show on tv in here the other day and i don't know what channel it was on but it was um it was like unsolved murder mysteries or whatever and it was on tesla and like it was, it's a multi-part series and like they're trying to rebuild the death ray. They're trying to build the death ray on yeah. his plans. They go to Serbia and like go to the Tesla Museum and try to get access to the archives and are yeah. completely denied. They get like one hour access and like there's the the lab that they're trying to build this Tesla coil death ray at is in Conroe. Oh shit! Really? <laughs> no yeah. Way. So they go to Wardenclyffe and they're in Wardenclyffe yeah. and they're doing they're uh, doing Jacob ground penetrating Tower. radar. They're 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 looking for like these tu- the alleged tunnels that. Yeah. Tesla had put in and like they're digging and like they kind of find one maybe but they you know it, it's a lot of like they can't really dig and they're so old you know kind of things yeah. like that you would love this because it's it's like i don't know how many episodes was i watched two or three of them what is this on i don't know let me let me when the show's over okay we'll, yeah. but it, it's all about tesla but uh being in the business that i'm in and things like that it's kind of cool to be um part of I, I feel like I'm part of something bigger every time I go to work. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, no, know, you, and, and you said this like you, I remember you said this. I never forget it. Like it's feel like your company wants to save the fucking world. Yeah, I mean that's that's, awesome that's the goal. Be part of, of it. it's, yeah, it's, it's easy I would to love get to be part of something you, when, like that. When they tell you that, it's like, well, you know, shit. If that's the goal, then yeah, like I'm fucking in. Right? right? Yeah. yeah. You know I, mean? I, mean, I mean, I've got kids. I mean, I, I want I want yeah. the world to be around for them exactly. and be a yeah. decent shit. Yeah, you know, a good better, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, it, 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 they do ask a lot of us, and and but like Elon has said, he's like, you know, saving the world is not a nine to five job, and if that's what you're looking for, that's this is not the place for you. Yeah, um, interesting. And that's uh, certainly not for D Tesla. <laughs> fucking eighteen hour day. He's only slept for you know like well, he couldn't sleep. He twenty hours have nightmares yeah. about yeah. his unfinished projects. Yeah. Well, you just uh, couldn't. Well, besides that too, just because of other anomalies or or just physical traits, like he had issues with you know he couldn't sleep because of uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get into that, but just there's a lot of other reasons. Oh, get why he into couldn't sleep. it. Why won't you not get into it, Paul? Because, man, the privileged information. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, we yeah. should have yeah. myself. <laughs> We can have uh, a little James we Franco have a eyes. Nikola Tesla themed podcast where we yeah. can just, there you go. You yeah. know what I mean? If, 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 all right, so we'll, we'll keep this going. Yeah, so, yeah. Number, number number three, three past Elon and Tesla and, and we'll Anheuser say, and Bush. My, and, uh, number, <laughs> my number three most influential artist musician. This is kind of off the beaten path. Is going to be Leo Fender. I have no idea who that is. So Leo, Fen- me. you know who Leo Fender is? Leo Fender, yes. Leo Ours. Fender is the guy who invented, is Fender. founded the Fender Guitar yeah. Company, yeah. invented the Stratocaster, right. amongst other things. So when he sold Fender, it, when he was in Fender, he designed the the Precision Bass, and then he went on to go f- form uh, uh, <laughs> the company Music Man, right. and he designed the Music Man Stingray Bass. Right. And then after he sold Music Man to Ernie Ball, he founded G and L, and designed oh, the G and L bases. Okay. So Show anyway, no as class. a bass player, Leo cool. Fender is kind of like my yeah, well, that's, you know, that's your jam. Yeah, for that's sure. my jam for sure. So <laughs> um, 
he has a lot of influence just on how how you play, you know, because that's the type of guitar that I play. So uh, now, 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 what's your preference, uh, precision or jazz bass? So if you look on my rack jazz. of bases to our left, I have a jazz ba- a Fender USA jazz. jazz bass, a Fender USA Precision <laughs> bass, Beaner. and a Music <laughs> Man Stingray. So I am across the board Fender, uh, Fender you fan, a Leo Jacob. Fender fan. Um, I heard that. So. Right. Sorry, I, 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 I thought I heard. I thought I heard pronounced Yaz. He did he's say Yaz. You <laughs> fucking wet pack. What? I am allowed to say that. You know why? Why? Because huh? I am not a wet pack. <laughs> there, I, I said it. You, yeah. I think you have that backwards. I, uh, I, yeah, yeah. fucking good. It. Just let him feel good about Someone, just let someone throw some about water on his back. Fuck <laughs> Prove that. him wrong. I'm not. I'm not Mexican. I'm Italian. And <laughs> right. <some other> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My. my I, you spell my name with a P A O, not P A U L. That's it's right. Pow. 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 Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Polo Yankee. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> marinate the meatballs. Uh. <laughs> and then you marinate my balls. Uh. <laughs> now you're just being a... F- <laughs> oh, I mean, lazy and shit, man. Hey, that's a shit. What's some effort to it. Put some effort. I don't right, give a shit. Right. I don't I'll give a lazy. shit. Okay. Fuck you. You I'll know what? You sound like 95% of this fucking country. Fucking lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Speaking of, lazy, speaking of lazy, speaking of lazy, I mean, uh, Rob, can you beer me? Speaking okay. of lazy, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> wait, what number are we on? He's uh, still number three. My number four. No, yeah, no, no. three four. was Fender. Yeah, yeah, three was Fender. Now so you're, on, you're on number, number four. four. We should talk about Fender. Four. Four. Go ahead. Uh, I, y'all discuss something. I'm gonna get okay. Me okay. okay. I got. I got it right here, quick guys. Okay. Nikola Tesla. No, nah, he got. No, no, no. He's your number six. I remember that, Paul. He's your number six. Jack Black. That's Jack Black. Hey, you got on Netflix. There's a, there's a movie called sure. Polka King. You need to check it out. It's Please. called what? It's called Polka King. Polka King is based on a true guy. On a, a true guy, true story. Based true story. On a true yeah. story on a true guy. A tr- I know. <laughs> the guy true. How true is this I, guy? Is there any more? You any more uh, Love Street or is that it? Oh, thank you. There's a All fresh right. one right there in front of you. All right, man, I like that. Oh, right. No, we're good. We're good. We're, we're, we're no, up. It's, yeah, yeah it's based on a true story. An actual guy like you kind of. You know, conned or pyramid scheme. These people like to invest in his in his, it was in his Ponzi. band. It was a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi. Scheme. Yeah. It's a pyramid scheme. The same thing. No, pyramid sure. schemes is different. Oh, it's shit. the same thing. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Ponzi not. scheme and a pyramid scheme are two. Yeah, they're different. They're completely thing. different. You're getting a ride home. Some from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Paul would you like to? Up. Would you like okay. a, a quick definition okay. of the difference? Yeah. Sure, yes, no, yes, I would. I, I would. Yeah, 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 I would. I refuse. I would. Just, just no, see I the would. movie. No, d- 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 besides the fucking. Remember, I'm I number, don't care about that. I'm number one in your album. So no, I got only, the only reason why I brought it up. <laughs> only reason I brought it up is because it's just, it's just hilarious. <laughs> There's just Jack Black does a good job. It's just fucking hilarious. He just bribes people a lot, and and and, and it just it just there's a scene where he just jumps up in excitement. It's like, oh, yeah. man, how many takes is he doing? You're not even paying attention. No. You fucking piece <laughs> of shit. That was a good beer. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. But man. I'm, we're listening. I heard I'm not, Jack no. Black. Do you want eye contact? I know this about Jack Black. <laughs> And how I became an actor. I only care about Jacob. <laughs> Fuck the rest of you guys. I'm talking about Jacob. Okay, yeah, hey, listen. Jay? No, I'm just saying. There's just, there's just, just number a scene one in, in your movie. Album, say it. There's just a, what? What? <laughs> There's a scene where he gets jumps up in excitement. It's just fucking hilarious. The sound he makes is like, how many fucking takes did he do that? And I probably, oh. you know, I'm pretty sure just the one. But Was it's he, just hilarious. It's like just to pick you off that Jack Black. He's a damn good actor, regardless yeah, of how yes, many takes. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Bernie? Yeah, yes. that's what it kind of reminds me it's of. Like the guy, like yeah, the, the, he does the, a good the, job. The, the singing and, and yes, and whatever he does exactly. on stage, like that. The guy is fucking no, awesome. No, no, this Bernie, is, the movie Bernie. Yeah. Check it out, Jack that's Black. A, that's a good great movie. weekend in Bernie. No, no. no, it's about a guy that um, he, he, he's it's a, based on a true story too. Yeah. Texas, a weekend at Bernie. He's a funeral director, and um, he actually uh, he cons he cons people. Yeah, and he no no not in this one. No. no, Bernie. Not in Bernie. No, he doesn't. Con people. No, he, no, no, he. No, he no, just, no, no, no. Because he. Well, he. I don't want to ruin. I don't, yeah, we're not gonna ruin. We're not gonna fucking ruin uh, that. Thing. Okay, no, alert. okay, no. It's just, Spoiler. It's just, it's just, it's just, Three, he two, basically, one, he, 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 he ends up killing getting somebody. in a relationship 
with like the oldest, meanest lady in the fucking town. It's a, it's a small town. The Nobody richest likes lady her. too. Nobody likes her. She's very rich. Yes, very wealthy. Nobody likes her, but he's like, I could turn her around basically. Like, you know, and he gets in a relationship with her and, you know, he kind of does like, you know, change her, blah, 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 whatnot. But eventually like he gets tired of her shit and just fucking has it. And he fucking just pops her. And like, like kills her? Yeah, yeah. he kills yeah. her. They're married and he inherits all her money and, and you know he's he, gone away with it for quite some time. Yeah, and, and then yeah, he kind of catches up to gotta, him. Yeah. But uh exactly. um to, no, to pick off good. that what, uh Ponzi <clears throat> pyramid. Okay, what, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. A, a pyramid scheme, for Paul. A pyramid scheme is something along the lines of this. <laughs> like if you had swindler. If you came if you came to me and said, Rob, you know what a I'm a, I'm, a, I'm I'm on this deal. You should get like if you invest invest in this, mm-hmm. and then you sell like these things, mm-hmm. like you 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 make all this money. Mm-hmm. But the real the real Winner. thing is is like you're like, and you can make more money if you sign up people under you to sell. Okay, yeah, so kind of like Mary Kay, and they okay. and they okay. sell. Okay, I understand hey, that. Okay. I understand that. Okay, a Ponzi scheme. No, 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 you. S- they, I thought you said that was a Ponzi. That's a no, pyramid. That's a pyramid. That's a pyramid. Okay, pyramid. It's a pyramid. It gets Basically, fat. It gets fatter yes, okay, as it goes. Yes, okay, okay. I understand the layers. concept. I understand the concept. A Go Ponzi ahead. scheme is a fake investment. It is somebody, it's it's, it's you coming Mattress to, firms it, in a Ponzi it's, scheme. It's, 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 com, it's you coming to us and being like, hey, look, if you if you invest your money in this, like this is the kind of return that we can get. And it's kind of almost all made up. Yeah, and then so, so like, Ponzi is what he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a there's conspiracy a theory. Yeah. Yeah. There's a conspiracy theory about um, if you listen, watch Coast to Coast, I'm going on their website and and, and, and search uh, mattress firm in Houston. You gave up, yeah. If you think about, it, there's a mattress firm on every fucking corner around Houston, and they're saying that there's pretty much there's money moving around to each store, and it's kind of like a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, because basically owner a Ponzi has. scheme. Also, their main thing is when you invest with them, they use that money to move it around. Right. Because they, they have like a, a lump sum of money And then if somebody says Hey I'm ready to pull out Well okay here's the money that somebody else gave me You can take his money Right And it's, then it's, it just it, he, uh, yeah. And the like how like, like how the goal is just to keep that money flowing You never heard those well, words though before huh money moving what? around You never heard those words before What words Ready out to pull it, out Out of his mouth <laughs> <laughs> again, <Wow>. again, <laughs> fucking lazy, man. I, I, I expect way more from you. Oh, come on, man. That it's was a, easy. He set me up. Yeah, I delivered. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean. You have to fucking knock him del- down. That was an alley oop, man. He threw the ball. I went for the alley oop. Yeah, dunk, man. Right. He went for the. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> tomorrow, J- easy Jacob. Shot. Easy shot. Jacob. Tomorrow, I, I expect you to wear your. Goodbye. I, I expect. I, I expect you to wear your. What's it called? Like your um, your tap out shirt. And your your uh, affliction uh, and your uh, 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 jeans. Your, and your your subscription to the the, the chive. <laughs> the ch- chive. Okay. I'm waiting. Uh, <laughs> 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 Swim it. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, you're number okay, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob. But hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but hey, I can't blame him. I can't blame him because not you. I'm just talking about those type of people. We need those type of people. No, we don't. Because. I just what? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We do. We, need to, we Who those, we those make are fun of exactly. We, uh, exactly. Not only that. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not just that. It's like they're they're actually a foundation for mundane tasks and bullshit. I can't fucking deal with. My mind is not wired to deal with that shit. Yeah. I cannot. Those yeah. fucking people can. Well, those and people they, also they think they're tired of something. They offer. They offer a service just like what I can offer a service. Exactly. Huh? Bitch and complain about how much money they make because they don't want to do the job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and somehow like they still stick at that entitlement. job. Entitlement, their entitlement. They they no, still... they don't stick to that job. They 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 they, they work yes, for three days and then you got to hire somebody else and you got to recycle, recycle. Well, there you recycle. go. <laughs> there you it go. Makes it harder for the freaking manager. Have to hire. you? Uh, there you I, go. I, I feel like this is like a. But no, you're, <laughs> you know, yeah, this is coming you're personal. personal. You're, you're coming this is personal. personal. This is no. This is you're personal. going. You're going off a little off this tangent. This is personal. You're 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 yeah, saying. Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah, you that was that personal. Are you? Too, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening. Are, are you sure that they have a, 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 a chive shirt and, and a tap out tattoo? No, no, no. See, a tap out don't. tattoo. Don't. My crew is Damn. great. My crew is great. That is that's what I'm saying. For the record, that's what I'm saying. That that's some serious. For the record, serious. What? Being on it. That's serious, dude. And a fucking tap out tattoo. Yeah, I know, Jesus right? Yeah. How dedicated are you that's to that? That's some serious. Yeah, and I. That's what I was. And I pop my. Collars and starts my jeans as well. Like asshole. I said, we need a, we we actually do need those people. So like they're filler. We you know fuck them. 
for for good reasons. I don't. I don't. I mean, but Rob's number I just, four. I just can't stand it. I yeah. heard someone yes. number four, didn't I? No, no I don't no, know. No, no, no. I don't know. We went from uh, keep calm and chive. Jesus on. is your number four. No, 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 no. Fender is <laughs> fucking awful, man. <laughs> he said it. My fucking neighbor. Has that on his license plate? Says Chive on, like you fucking <laughs> faggot! Oh my god! Oh, no, people that people that go to the Chive are just too late. What is Chive? Right? I don't oh know what that god. is. Like Chive yeah. onions? So the Chive, no, okay, the, the Chive, chive, chive is a movement. website that takes all the all the all the semi funny shit it's from a, Reddit. Yes. And puts it on one it website. Evil's world too. And then and yeah, it, it, so it goes to all the bullshit websites of the internet. It picks up all the stuff and puts it on one page with a bunch of half naked girls. Yes, and these yes. fucking affliction t shirt wearing yeah. motherfuckers go in there, uh, and yeah. they, they just they think it's the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Chive you know? subscription, just, just, nice, Paul. Just just think oh, of yeah. his just, <laughs> just think of his a, mo- a modern that. a modern Maxim magazine, but without the magazine, and it's in a fucking it's an app. Yeah, that is a great. I like that. that is a great analogy. I like the, the FHM that's exactly for him magazine. Is. That's what it is. For that's some it. reason, all these guys no. want to jerk off Bill Murray all the time. For some yeah. reason, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a big yes, part of it. I mean, I like no, Bill Murray. But no, but he's Bill, hilarious. But Bill Murray, Murray yeah, I mean, Bill, Bill, Bill Murray has nothing to do with it. It's just those assholes that are fucking taking a great comedian and fucking put him in a pedestal. And Calm they don't down, under- Danny DeVito. They don't understand. <laughs> the uh, James Franco eyes. Fuck you, Jamati. <laughs> Fuck you, Jamati. Jay Franco eyes. <laughs> oh, you got him too. You got him too. Right now. Am I pulling a John Barenthal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the wide eyes, baby. Don't even look at him. He just start talking shit. Fucking Rob, oh. man. You don't want to fucking mean Rob. You know? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, but you got you got you got a grunt too. So you, you got to go get me like, you you know. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like it's like. Hey, Paul. No, you don't, don't want to fuck with me, Paul. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you, don't fuck with me, man. Yeah. you keep poking at me, yeah, man. You keep poking fucking, at me, man. You keep it together. You One poke. fucking day. One oh, fucking, fucking day. You could keep it the fucking yes. together. We need, One we, fucking we day. We need to record this shit on yeah. actual camera because yeah. right now people are like, oh, what the people fuck are, are they getting, talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Well, you know what? There That's is, all I'm I mean, describing. There's security him. camera footage. I mean, I can pull that. Pull that <laughs> yeah. That's right saying. up our budget. It'll be zero context. Yeah. That doesn't even I mean? probably do audio, though. you got to <laughs> sync it up. Do, it does do audio. Oh, I sync can it talk up. through it. Sync it up with this and fucking, you know, just sync it yeah, up. Yeah, because I have all the time in the world to do that. It yeah. doesn't. And no, it's that easy. It's, it, when it comes to it, yeah. all you need is a, is a basic... Fucking uh, uh, whatever the the, the, way, all, the way the way the way okay the wavelengths will match with the wavelengths on with this on the video and it just syncs up that quickly that easily on if on on on, on, a, on a program whatever you're using it's that easy is it so yes. you render it and then yes. you're, you're, it's all they sync they sync up because it'll recognize the wavelengths from coming from there and then to the mics bam I don't believe you. Uh, okay. So number four, number fuck you. Uh, number four. Wait, wait, I mean, was number three? that was lazy. Uh, number, that was hypocritical. Number three was Leo oh, yeah, was Fender. A, yeah, yeah. The so Fender, yeah, okay. uh, artists, four. musicians. Okay. That was like thirty uh, minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Jesus right? Christ, uh, it's gonna take forever. Uh, That's a good uh, rant. I'm, 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 I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm having to think. Here. All Somebody time? allowed you to fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chive uh, on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, I'm serious. You never heard of the I've chive? I've never heard of the chive. Oh, oh my, my God. God. My yeah. fucking neighbor, like I said, he owns that bar. Two blows, bro. Two oh, blows. Oh, two blows. Yeah. His, his, his whole Boy. thing is the chive bullshit. Sorry, I don't well, fucking that's sidetrack. Business. That's, that's, that's business. I know. Yeah, that's fine. But his fucking license plate, is that business? Actually, yeah, that's a little, uh, that's a little that's too far. That's going too fucking that's far. That's a little too far. <laughs> but yeah, okay, number right. four. Number four. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, number four, I'm going to go kind of out of context for you guys, for y'all guys. I'm going to go Zach Brown as artist musician. He's good. Oh, the band's good. Yeah. Wait, oh, doesn't like he have that. a douchebag song? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. There's... Chicken fried. No. Uh, <laughs> who's cold dick on a Friday yeah, that's night? The one, that's is that him? Yeah. Is that him? Okay. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I told you my version, right? 
Like yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. but yeah, I like I forgot how it goes. But like, but <laughs> I, I started off like now. he's like, I don't need to hear your fucking version. Just real quick, just real quick. I like quick, to hear it. Real quick, you've All heard right, it. Fine. But do, 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 it's like, yeah, do a little like, umph in it. But know? like, I don't know the whole like how the song exactly starts. <laughs> but like, you know, the beginning's like he's like, you know, cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. But like, why would cold dick on a Friday night, a pair of dicks that fit just right in my mouth? Woo! That's the Zach Brown you know what's funny? I know. Um, I bought uh, Megan uh, a, 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 a record player Megan. for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> and the, first, the album I bought was uh, Zach Brown Greatest Hits because that's one of those bands that yeah, her and I can actually relate country wise. That, it's a good song. Because he's good really, song. A really good. They're really good musicians, yeah, yeah, man. I agree. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go last, last, right. but but definitely not least. Aww. We'll go five to one. This is number one. We're just. I'm gonna go Lemmy. There's Killmeister. Let me kill myself. Ace of Spades. Damn, Ace of Spades. It's so fucked up how he died or how he got the he, how he got the news. You know about that, right? <sighs> yeah, I heard. I told him about this recently. This, you That's know about so this, Jacob? Up, it is dude. so fucked up. What happened? I'm sorry. Like, well, because like he he went to the doctor and they told him oh. literally, it's like this is spreading. Like, it's, it was a yeah, cancer, right? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, it was like this is like spreading very very fast. Like. You don't have much time to live. You're gonna die very soon. The next fucking day, he was. He, that's it. Damn. Hey man, he that guy dead. lived life fucking balls. He lived no. hard. Yeah, yeah. He, no. he lived life. He did, lemon, dude. You know what he I mean? Did. I mean, I, I saw the first for that. time I, was... I saw Lemmy, and I've only seen him twice. I saw, like I said, I saw him Motorhead with Testament and, and yeah, okay, and yeah. Judas Priest. The first time I saw him, this is fucking like. Ultra 2000 or 1999. I don't yeah, know what damn, nice. But uh, WrestleMania was here in Houston. I went with my aunt and uncle to WrestleMania. And at <laughs> oh, that, no, at that no, time, no. Triple H's theme song Hunter was uh, the game. Yeah, <laughs> and it was it was a mo- and Motorhead. Motorhead, right, right, yeah. Yeah, so at WrestleMania, they had a stage, and it was right next what? to our seats, and, they, and when they pushed it out, it was uh, it was it was Motorhead, and they live played yeah, Triple H's that. theme song. I remember that as man. it came in. You know, question: You saw Joe Rogan yesterday. What is he? What's his take on wrestling fans? What do you say? Uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan used an analogy about you know being gay and liking pro wrestling as being equals. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was very funny, you know. Uh, My man Joe. I, 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 I wouldn't say that I'm a fan of pro wrestling, but it, it was. It's entertaining for me. I, mean, I watch it every now and then. Uh, yeah. talking, I don't care. We're, we're talking 18, 19 years ago. It was a lot better back then, it for sure. It was a lot better. Back Absolutely. Then. Now it's kind of uh, it, bullshit. It, it, but I mean, the, way, the, way, that, the way that Joe described, I bet nah. <laughs> the way that Joe described it last night. He's like, let me tell you what I see through my eyes. Um, <laughs> I see a bunch of muscular guys. Shaved legs, shaved chest, and speedos, knee-high leather boots, holding each other <laughs> down. But I'm not really down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on top of each other. Good, good, good. I see the same thing in football. Oh, this guy! Oh, Jesus Christ! Get They're out of hugging here. Really each other. They're hitting men in tights, other. hugging each other nah. for a, a, a swollen nut. No, guess what? Guess what? guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Hey, hey, you're <laughs> idol. You're number one, man. Hey, in '91, I'm not with the black football. album. After the black oh, album, you're not, oh god, you're not dissing. After football? the black it's an album, observation. You're not dis- <laughs> it's an on. observation. Time out. I'm gonna observe something here. And okay. men get horny over I'm, that. I'm Come observe, on, get him, get him, get him. I'm gonna observe something here. <laughs> I, I'm gonna observe something. <laughs> I'm confused I'm, I'm, I'm when gonna, I hear that. I'm going to hey, call him out because the loudest mouth in the room is always the one. I feel like Paul has jerked off to professional football. <laughs> I, 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 I want to yeah. be proud of that. I would say well, that, but no. After after the fact. After <laughs> I'm, not, yeah, okay, I'm not, not the yeah, one yelling, come on, get him, get him. Take him down. Yeah. Well, come on, get him. Come, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Uh, all I know. Give it to me. The ball so everybody just piles them together. Oh, this is the stuff. No. This is the Stuff. I'm not excellent. I'm not okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, know, make, after, after, I'm after, not after. making fun of people that watch football. I get yeah, it. Well, I understand are, it. Okay, go ahead. I get okay. I, I understand it, but it just seems hilarious in comparison. It's you know, just a bunch of guys in tight fucking pants and 
They're just tackling, hugging each other. People, I hear now. I just come on, get him, come on, get him, get him, get him. Like, <laughs> sounds awfully sexual, but yeah, sure. give it to me. Because yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're come idol on. In, come in the, on. during the Black so Album, this, this decided to wear uh, eyeliner. Um, a guy named Kirk Hammett and, and cut his hair. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, well, fucking faggot. Kirk yeah, Hammett. Kirk Hammett. He, he, faggot. Hey, he crossed his legs and he said, "Can I say something that's bullshit?" Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. faggot. Kirk Hammett. Hey, <laughs> I agree with you. So are you Kirk, trying to hurt Kirk me? What did he say? If you trying to, have, if you're trying to hurt me, Kirk you're Hammett not. has the exact same like balding pattern that I have, and his <laughs> hair is still really long and. Somebody needs to tell that man. <laughs> yeah, don't need to tell him. Yeah. Oh, so no, no. If you turn, if you turn to, well, if Gary King, hey Jacob, to, to, if, but you know, if you turn, if you turn to hurt me, it's not worth it. I agree. Okay, okay. I agree. <laughs> Because those legs cross and say, "Can I say something that's bullshit?" Fuck wait, wait. Yeah, it, it wasn't manly. That enough. was pretty gay. I have a question. Gay. I have a question. Not about the, it's about the music, not the length no, no, of no. our hair. I have a question. <laughs> you hear that song that he has on the on? I think it's "Load." Like, um, give me food, give me fries, give me salad on the side. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an important question. Important question. Okay. When guys cross their legs. What's wrong okay? with that? No, 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 no. I Hold can't on. even do that. It's no, hard. No. Yeah, okay. They do the whole, like, uh, what's it called? Knee over the other knee. Now, I can't <laughs> fucking do that. It yeah. hurts. It hurts I'm my fucking... I'm surprised you doing a split. Yeah, I can do the splits, but I can't. Can you do a small, split? None of us are small guys, and but, that's the problem. Can, like, no, but... Well, the I'm problem not, is this, that we're all guys... <laughs> and he can do a split. You can do the splits. I, yeah. splits. I don't believe you. Uh, uh, yes, he can. I, can. I said this on a podcast. I said, "Can we I can do that split? right now. I can do, do that it. right now. You have room. Do it. Okay. 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 Right. Here we go. Do it. Do it. Okay. Somebody this take a gonna, picture. Yes. We'll put it up online. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can get a video. Uh, if you on, split your on. pants, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> a whole uh, dollar. Hey, a whole dollar. That's all the cash I have on me. You take a picture or you do a video or I'm doing a video, yeah. Oh, video Hell too. yeah. Yeah, this is fucking twenty eighteen. Who does pictures anymore? Fuck that. <laughs> All right. He's, if you ask to take your pants off in here, he's, I swear uh, to God. He's prepping up, he's he's lifting, he's reaching he's for something in his pocket for some reason. Gotta make sure I don't get and in my okay. <laughs> All right, he's gonna do it. <laughs> he's slowly Approaching, oh, and there he is. Oh, yeah, man. He looks like he's enjoying it. Get down there nice and deep. Like. Yeah, look at that eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I'm re- video is, recording it because I'm going to do frame by frame. He's teabagging your freaking stupid. garage floor, dude. Dude, that's cool. That was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. My garage floor is a slut. I probably liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and this I mean, is uh, not a garage. Don't tell people this is a garage. This is a full-blown It is a full-blown yeah, studio, studio, but... Man, this is a studio. It is a full blown studio. You're right. You're right. But I'm I sorry. did convert the garage. Okay, now no, it's full okay. blown. It has it has uh, walls and everything. Okay, now okay, I can do the split. <laughs> <laughs> it has walls. <laughs> what? Hey, you gotta send me that picture. That's send me that picture. That's why I want to do video because they get more to frame. Yeah, okay, okay, now, okay. Now the whole leg crossing oh! thing, I cannot do knee over knee. I cannot do that. Cannot do knee you're, over knee. you're talking about. Crossing, crossing your legs, legs female style. Yes. Female, female style. style. I've hey. seen guys do this. You've got okay. your lawsuit. Be How careful. do they fucking do yes. this? Because they're small. Yeah. It, well, it's not just that. If you're it's small, fl- it's, it's, no, things it's move not, around a lot easier. No, it's not just that. It's flexibility in the fucking muscles. Come on. Don't be that simple. Fuck. Dude, it hurts my fucking nuts to do that, though. Yeah, yeah but like you're flexible. Like some people are more flexible. I bet you can like, if we lay that lounge in that couch behind you. I guarantee you'd be able to. If like, because you're kind of adjusting can, your If you lay the lounge. I can do it. Yeah. But it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. But if you had a guitar know, in your hand, know. it probably would be comfortable for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> if you look at the, if you look, okay, look. Why day, would a guitar in I your don't know. hand change uh, the whole? Okay, <laughs> no, if you look at guys that can cross their legs like that, all of them have the same thing in common. They're smaller guys. They have smaller thighs or skin. That's true. You know, that's true. Like that. That's true. None okay. of us, none of us are that build. No, yeah, that's just no, not our body true. type. And. But, but how that's is just that the way comfortable? I think I saw the guitar player from POD, Marcos Carrillo, able to cross his legs and play guitar. And that guy's a huge dude. Well, I mean. No, I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only big guitar player I can think of that's signed. That, POD, that's who you came up with? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's your go-to? That's my like, go-to, man. Oh, that's Because oh, that's, that's I'm so guy, alive. I'm so I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so alive. 
No, but to piggyback on your kill monster, my coworker, um, he's a diehard metalhead. He said that you know when Dimebag died, he didn't cry. He was sad and it was fucked up. But the time when <laughs> he cry. did cry was when Killmaster died, oh and he's like, God. man, that, that you, guy. Okay, look. I, I get it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, let I get me. It. Let it, me mess so much of my cool. Is that a YouTube be, personality? You Killmeister? Sad. You can be sad over an artist dying. I get it. That's fine. But crying Fuck that. You can be sad well, I mean, over that, anything. Come on. No, I, you can't I, be that. You're, you're not the fucking feelings you're, police. You don't know. <laughs> you're sad over anything, The thing is, you don't know what he went through. You're I mean, you don't know what he went through in life. Maybe maybe Motorhead got him out into some rough shit. And he said, like, that really hit him hard whenever Killmeister passed away. Oh, what's his name? Lemmy. No, no, no. I'm not saying what's his name, like, you know, who was the person that died. But what when what's his name died? Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. That made me sad as shit. Yeah. And fucking, what's it called? Uh, um, God damn it. Um, Rob, you can help me out on this one. <laughs> I seriously uh, doubt that. That's fucked up. I know. He has I, to, seriously he's, 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 I seriously doubt no, that. No, no, no. Rob's Robin too, Williams. Rob is too busy uh, looking okay. for his heart because he has no fucking heart. That's Dad, not true. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's so that's fucking true. He's like, uh, what about him heartless because of that? <laughs> that hurt my heart a little bit. <laughs> damn. <laughs> calling him heartless. Hurt his heart. I get it. I, I, I get it. I feel sadness when an artist or a musician. With MXPX. If they, if they all get obliterated. MXPX. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I mean, I mean you're, you're, you're talking about things that like haven't happened. I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that because it hasn't happened. Right, 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 right. There's no way to know. You got know you. I, mean? no, I got you. I got you. Let me put it like this. Um, who is uh, there's there's been some like serious artists and, and and actors and musicians or whatever that have died in 2017. Yes. Like 2017, we can all agree was it's a pretty fucked up, fucked up year. Yeah. There's a lot of shit. That's that pretty good in year. 2017. <laughs> <laughs> my, my taxes says I did pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, all right, my taxes say I didn't do terrible. My. Uh, <laughs> I'm That's just going to throw one. back to the podcast where Paul <laughs> talked shit about Black Box for like almost Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit was great. Straight. <laughs> and he's like, I don't want to name any names, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't work for him anymore. <laughs> Nobody listening to this shit knows anything about that company or, or is going to hire that company. That's right. Black but Box. But you know what? It made you feel better. So that's all that matters. So, yeah. You're right. I got but, you. But my man, Louis C.K. did the right thing. Pulled his pants down and said, suck it. Yes. Yeah. No. No, no. What? <laughs> what? Not that. What is, wait, what? Louis C.K.? No, no, no. No. He no just sucking with him. He no, no. It. Louis C.K. just had a fetish. He, he Everybody, every, no, Nobody's a fucking saint. I don't give a fuck. Nobody's a saint. We're humans. We have curiosities. We're all fucking different. We're all built different. But, you know, we get called out for blah, blah, blah. You're a fucking perv, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't fucking do it. Talk means to the you're microphone, a fucking perv. You know, I'm, I'm backing off because I don't want too much gain because of my fucking passion. Well, we can't hear you when you're, when you're all the way That's bullshit. Here, like, That's, I can hear you clearly. I can't hear him. Get on the mic, you jackass. <laughs> Louis, Louis right, C.K. All right, all right, all right, quit me. Is he your idol? No, 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 but check it. No, no, no. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, say? I'm just say? saying, like, the, I, he, it, honestly, it was a fucking finish. Okay. Uh, we, uh, you you want to talk about people that, famous people that, see, died and, and that then just because, you. but I'm just, and that, that, and no, it didn't affect me. Like, well, he's not, he's not dead, by the way. He's very much alive. <laughs> he's very much I alive. Realize, I realize. I'm just, I'm just talking about, like, you know, this, I, I just brought that up because you said 2017 was a fucked up year. Oh, yeah, I was, year. That was a pretty good year. I'm Louis, just, Louis, just Louis. joking. <laughs> Louis, you know, all that shit. It was just a fucking, you know, we all, you know, we're all curious. We all have our curiosities. And just like Woody Harrelson said, we all should be able to do what we want to do as long as you don't hurt anybody. But in that position, yeah, I guess he did, whatever, but it seemed like it was more hurt like it was consensual, though. No, no, he didn't hurt him then when they were climbing up that damn corporate ladder. Uh, I don't think all of them climbed it. No. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, that's the thing, though. Some of them were pretty, uh, they were pretty set already, and he decided he was going to do it in front of them. But see, yeah. that's the thing, though. Why like, not he say asked. it then, though? Let's bring that shit out. Bring that shit out then. He asked. Bring that shit out then. He asked. He asked. You know what? what let, let's, he fucking let, asked. No, let, no, we're on the subject. You know what? If we're we're on have the a subject. problem, if anybody has a problem with some of the famous people that died in 2017, since we haven't touched this up, there's a lot of I'm just saying, my man, Louis C.K., like, I'm just saying, we all have fetishes. We all have curiosity. And desires. 
desires or whatever. Why? Because he's a ginger? No, I'm just saying he gets a no, pass. Man, like, why? I'm just saying, like, Mexican? but dude, see, no. Exactly. Thing, no. People, oh, yeah, he is, people Mexican. Think he is very he much is Mexican. Mexican. He is born he's in Mexico. He's the only Mexico. red-headed Mexican I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> he was born, actually. He was, born, he was born in Mexico. Born in Mexico, yes. Yeah, yeah. so he's like, he's like, like Central Mexico, wetback. probably. Because yeah, he is a fucking wetback. Mexico City. Yeah, Mexico City. I would have guessed Monterey, but that's just me. Monterey? That's a very racist, sir. That's not racist at all. That's not racist at all. Oh, man, don't give me this shit. <laughs> the stir is shit let's, let's, let's be honest. That was very much a true statement. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you were going to take an educated guess, Fuck you would that. go with I, I think, I think it was right. a damn fit, but anyhow. Let's, we'll, we'll talk about him, people that matter to us that died in 2017. Okay. Malcolm Young died in 2017. Yeah. That, that, that Malcolm sucked. Young, the, the yeah. guitar Who? player, songwriter. He AC, doesn't AC. know. That's all right. Yeah. AC. Angus, Angus yeah. Young. Oh, okay. Yeah. Angus Young's little brother, yeah. uh, who ah, wrote, ah, he wrote, ah, he, wrote ah, mo- okay. he wrote most of their material. Yeah. By okay. the way. Yeah. Um, um, other people that died, Fats Domino. I yeah, yeah. About that. I know, so I Fats know. Domino yeah. died Domino. Ultra Clint um, Eastwood. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to go down. Any which way will lose. I'm trying to go down. Or any which way you can. I uh, think. Uh, oh. Local Houstonian Ralphie May. Oh Ralphie yeah. May, oh, man. he was May actually Beals. from Houston. Yeah. Well, he, he well he wasn't from he he lived here for a long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think okay. he was from Tennessee. Yeah. Or originally. I well yeah. I still can't believe he passed away, man. I, that you know he's a mid forties. I'm pretty sure like that was coming. Well, you know, no, no, like I'm just saying for his age wise, you know, but weight yeah, understands. Yeah. yeah I mean, you the know. guy was pushing 400 pounds. I mean, yeah. Oh, plus, dude. Tom Petty. Plus. Yeah. That was kind of out of the nowhere. Um, that, that one hit kind of hard. I'm not going to yeah. lie. That Did you tear? You heartless son of uh, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're still talking about that. <laughs> Rob has a heart. <laughs> no, but. I, I, I did choke on my water as I was drinking. Oh, and you were drinking the, <laughs> the fresh uh, Hugh, Hugh Hefner. Hugh oh, Hefner. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I, 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 I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. There's so much that happened last year. Um, Pioneer Hugh Hefner. Uh, other other people that died. Let's say I'm trying to go down this list of people. That what died about or, me? Um, who's that? A uh, black guy? You passed you? up. You didn't <laughs> die last year. <laughs> <laughs> that black guy. A little bit. That a little bit of me did. No, I said that you passed up. I yeah. Oh, there's lots of people that. Passed up. Uh, Heartache is a son of uh, a bitch, Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis, yeah. yeah. Chuck Berry, is he still alive? Uh, I want to say he died. I want to say he died. No, I'm serious. Hey, I think he passed away that. recently. Let's get him on that. Did he pass away no. last year? That's no, the, no yeah, he passed must, away last maybe year. Maybe he has the black guy I was it. talking about. No, that wasn't the black guy that was on this no, list. No, Chuck Berry, yeah, to. he's black, though. I'm yes, just telling you that that's Barry, not the guy. Yeah. Oh, so John Heard died. Does anybody John, know John fucking Heard, you, McAllister, you know, Peter McAllister. Barry, you do know he was in Sopranos as well. Yeah. Sopranos. yeah, John Heard died. I remember you put the... Uh, Who's John Heard? Yeah, I put something on my played, Facebook about... Yeah. Uh, in Home Alone, he played the dad. Peter McAllister. He, Peter McAllister. You know, no, but what... Didn't what's and his name... Home Alone movies. Didn't what's his name... Yeah, oh, uh, um, Batman. Uh, Adam West died. Oh. Adam West died, yeah. Uh, but didn't... What's we his talked name? about this uh, earlier. Uh, Chester the, Bennington and Chris Cornell the, the, died last the year. The Wrenches oh, yeah. from Richie Rich? That sucks. Or was that the year before? Oh, that no, year? no, no. Uh, the father of Richie Rich died... Uh, uh, year, before? year before? before. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember you posted that. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks, yeah. It's like, Mr. Hughes... I remember he was on the, suck he, it, Rich. He, I remember he was on the aviator he's like uh, the, he was on the board for the uh, the uh, the motion picture association of America they're like her memories were clearly shown you know too Richard much Richard Rich's father blah. right yes yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. like he's like Mr. Hughes Mr. Hughes no oh no, did you know that no. Greg <laughs> Allman died last year yeah Ultra Terror the Peak. Who? <laughs> For the Allman Brothers. Greg Allman, oh. the Allman Brothers. Okay. And Big Black died last year. I forgot about that. That was early in the year. The Black died? What? Big Black from Robin Big. The Black died. Oh, that's right. That's right. The Black You know who I'm talking yeah. about. You're yeah. a fan of rap, apparently. Uh, and I'm surprised you didn't know who that guy is. Really? Who? I am? I don't know. You fucking talk about it like you are. No, Ooh. that's true. You do talk about. You it. were talking about mumble rap, like you fucking like you're so into the rap scene, like you like you have a I am shit. like I you am. have a Spotify oh, playlist. Play playlist. Whatever. Because of him, I confuse you. Because of rap, I confuse you. We are very it's much... you're both Mexican. I mean, it's just hey, <laughs> oh again. I don't know. What about this one? <laughs> what about this confuse... one? <laughs> I would confuse him and we myself had... more than I would hey. confuse him. We already discussed this in like in our second or third podcast. We're not Mexican. We're 
we're Americans, we have cultures in the backgrounds of being fucking Mexican. No, we're not fucking Mexican. Oh, hey, hey, Rob, true. hey, Rob, true. hey, Rob, hold on, hold on, Rob. Let me ask you go look, fuck hey, yourself. hey, Rob, let me ask Jacob a question. Hey, Jacob, how much Mexican do you do today? I did a lot of Mexican. I did some yard work. I had to build a table. Fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's hey. just being a good, what's it called? No. House no. owner. No. Yeah. That's just being a good house yeah. owner. That's not really being no, Mexican. No, yeah. no, because oh, I can you. hire those being people. Mexican. Yeah. No, no bro, else, being that's Mexican that's is when you're getting paid to do this on Powers other people's booth. yards. I can hire people. Powers <laughs> Booth. Powers <laughs> Booth. Oh, no shit. From I, know, I know, I know, I know, I you know, know power, right? I've never seen two stars. Ultra, You've Ultra never Clip. seen, t- that is your fucking homework before next podcast. Okay. I, I think he was on Sin City. My wife wanted me to watch it too. I was he on Sin City? City? What the hell are you talking about? Who Powers died? Booth? He was on Who? Sin City. I think the first one. He's an actor, Powers Booth. Powers Booth, okay, yeah. what do you do? Oh my God, He's he was in Tombstone. Let me see a picture of him. Wait, wait, Tombstone? It sounds so familiar. Sin City. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Sweet Sarsaparilla? No, it looks like him. Good Powers. sarsaparilla. How much sarsaparilla? How much <laughs> That's fucking do do? Big Lebowski. Come on. <laughs> yeah. like How much Mexican do you do, though? Come on. I, I oh. do a lot of Mexican. No, um, That's uh, bullshit. Come on. No, no. Uh, someone told my Asian co-worker, what kind of Chinese are you? Cool. <laughs> He's Vietnamese. I like that. North that's, Vietnamese. That's Powers <laughs> Bo- hey, right. Some people like, you know, yeah. yeah. That's Powers Booth from Tombstone. Oh, yes, yes. What's oh, your yes, heritage? Yes. Yeah. I know. Okay. I know. Yeah. My favorite line from that my all time. That's a very quotable movie for me. Yeah. My favorite line from that movie is from him. And he's when he sits there and says, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. say that all the time. All the time. It's it's it's, it's uh, I was very, very sad. fat. I see. I was very sad uh, when power heavyweights. Was, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Heavyweights. Uh, that's a great movie also. Yeah, I'm just quoting that for some uh, reason. Mm, very <laughs> fat, I see. Uh, Roger, Roger Moore died. Yeah. Roger Moore. Yeah. Wait, wait, Roger 007. Moore. Yeah, Why is that so familiar? 007, James Bond. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. Um, uh, uh-huh. Lots of people died. I'm going. To, oh, the big shocker, or one of the bigger shockers, Charlie uh-huh. Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Yeah. Oh, Charlie God. God. Was it, it didn't get that much attention either. Like, I, I didn't even know. It didn't get that much attention. Not that a lot of people sad, knew who it was. I heard that and I was like, man. That's, yeah, that's sad, that's man. Sad, I don't know. Like, this, I figured because of the Chappelle crying. show. Yes, he, he was. He was fucking hilarious, man. Yeah, I, he was fucking great, yeah. I, I'm surprised he didn't tour more. Uh, Don Rickles died last year. Don yeah. Uh, Chuck Berry died last year. You were oh, right. Chuck yeah. Berry did yeah. die last year. Um, the, a lot of people died last year. Jesus. Chuck Berry's pissed with the Beach Boys. Mm, a lot Bill of people Paxton did die. <laughs> Bill Paxton. Yeah, Bill Paxton. Last year. Holy shit. We Holy didn't fuck. You know what's crazy about that, that, though? You know what's crazy about that? It's like Nobody there's a cares. curse with the Comic Con in Houston. Like if Shut you show up, up, don't even talk. We don't talk about it because if it's not true, if you don't talk, no, about it's it. the truth though because it happened to <laughs> double. Uh, happened with fucking, Roddy Piper, Roddy you, Piper, you fucking twenty-seven year old, get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't want to hear this. No, no, Roddy, talk about it because it's not true. Okay, Roddy, Roddy Piper, Roddy, Roddy Piper came to do the uh, uh, the Houston Comic Con, Comic Palooza, and then like six months or a year later, he died. Bill Paxton did the whole aliens, uh, the whole cr- uh, cast from the aliens oh, came Jesus out, Christ. and he he was in the comic palooza, in and Houston? he ended up dying. Yeah, he was here in Houston. Woo! Well, we went last year. MJ, you MJ's know. doctor was from Houston, killed Mar- him. Mar- Ronnie <laughs> James, <laughs> Ronnie Mar- James, Roger Dio, Dio died, died here in Houston. Hey, he died in Houston, Houston because oh, he had stomach pro- cancer. Houston, this is the best place to hey, die if you, you have sound cancer. very proud hey, of that. You the common, the common trend is Houston. We are known, baby. You sound very proud of that, Paul. Last year. Oh, did she? Yeah, that. Mary Tyler Moore died last year. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Michael Jackson's doctor. Woo! Houston, baby. Yeah. Uh, Get him. Ace <laughs> Town, man. Sooty Wood. What your bitch ass gonna do? You gonna do a goddamn so big trick? <laughs> Uh, that's all. Like, uh, I don't know if anybody knows who Miguel yeah. Ferrer is. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking Twin Peaks, baby. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Cro- great Crossing actor. Jordan. Did yeah. you ever Did you ever see the movie Traffic? Yeah, yeah. He was dude. That. He was fucking great he in that died. movie. Man. Nobody's ever seen though. Twin. Hey, man, you know what's fucked up? If you If you watch Twin Peaks after the premiere and like a little bit before, like so many actors and actresses fucking died. Yeah. 
when that shit happened. Like, it's fucking really? crazy. Aren't, aren't they vampires or some shit? No. <laughs> we talked about this. This is not a fucking vampire. Dude, it's like a Twilight. Hey, do it. Keep doing it. No, it, it really is it. crazy, Dude, though. He loves show. Every time you bring up Twin Peaks, I'm going to bring up vampires. No, I'm just talking about <laughs> just, people that pass away. Joke. Just fucking a lot of, knife a little bit. A lot no, I heard about that. Miguel, okay. Miguel Ferrer, Ferrer it, you know, he was in Twin Peaks as well. Twin Peaks was so good that they made a shitty restaurant off of the show. There's oh, no. You have not been to Twin Peaks. Fuck that the restaurant. Idea. I say we go tonight. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> it, they, they're called restaurants. Yes. Restaurants. Thank you, Carlos. I've never heard that, that terminology. But yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. My coworker used to tell me that. Restaurants. I was doing an Fuck interview that. at Hooters. Um, Fuck that stupid ass a... bullshit fucking restaurant. <laughs> They don't deserve that fucking name. Yeah. You, fuck you them. go fuck yourself. Fuck Just you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. And they actually, you know what? Shit. Hooters are uh, opening up like side restaurants that, you know, no chicks, you know. Uh, what do you call it? I mean, not no chicks. Oh, but, it's, you it's know. dudes in Speedos smuggling no, grapes? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, it's just straight up food. They're not, you know, hiring bitches. Their food sucks, so I don't... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, where's yeah. this at? I'm not sure. They're, they're they're starting not is this reserved for people they're like you, Rob? Yeah, they started... They're not, up, I mean, they're, they're mediocre. Hey, they started hey, up cause, north. Okay, just quick story real quick. It's just... It's just <laughs> you're talking about Hooters real quick. You're talking about food. You're talking about... Okay, you're talking about Hooters, and you're talking about, like, side restaurants of Hooters just being strictly just for the food. Raf ordered Hooters oh, to yeah. go one time and like he saw like some of my friends he saw Taylor and Will yeah, and, and, yeah. and they're like you know like Raph's like so like, hey man what are you doing like I'm just getting some food and like Raph, and Will's like who the fuck orders Hooters to go <laughs> yeah I did that Raph that's I fucking did that. Raph I did that Raph well, was I, did that. So, if, if, I thought one of the chicks was well, gonna drop it off <laughs> <laughs> that, would not, that would not surprise they're me just, because guess what um, I got a story for Raph too okay um, there, there's a time where Raph calls me um um, I'm asking about uh, uh, what kind of beach I should get, and he's at Best Buy. <laughs> oh yes, and, uh, this is great. I want you to tell what? this story. What kind of beach um, that, that, that he wants? And uh, I'm like, I don't know. Get what you got to piss was. again, Jesus Christ! And then um, he's We're like, uh, go ahead and tell the story, Rob, because I know it was closing time, oh, and then they asked, him, okay. "Are you going to make a decision?" Okay, okay. Yet? I'm going to tell the story. I'm going to tell the story. I'm going to tell the story. Okay, check it, check it. Okay, well, just just we'll we'll be done after this story. If you just hang out, we'll be done. We'll. We, we've we we've, we've been on air for almost two hours yeah, now. Major, okay, major actually, editing. You know what? Um, an honor, uh, honorable mention. Uh, Sam Shepard died. I saw that. I didn't know if anybody was gonna know who Fuck, Sam Shepard. I love that Sam guy, Shepherd man. Sam Shepard is from uh, this guy right here. Look, Sweet he Sarsaparilla. No, Sam Shepard. He was uh, wasn't he the guy that was uh, um, uh, in uh, Hellboy? He was uh. Wasn't he the the guy from Hellboy, right? Uh, the, I can't remember if he was on Hellboy. I'll find out. Just go I'm ahead and continue with your story, Almost positive he was on Hellboy. Dude, great fucking actor. I loved him in, what's it called? Uh, Code in July. In Hellboy. Um, I liked him in Hellboy also. Uh, Code in July. He was on Mud. Uh, the Assassination of Jesse James by the coward uh, Robert Ford. Uh he was in Killing Him Softly. Oh, now, now I know who he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yep. man, that guy was great, oh, man. I fucking love that I remember them. Yep, yep. Anyhow, All right, so go I, ahead. Uh, that story. Right, check it. Here's the story. Okay. Now, mind you, I'm Raph, okay? So yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe, you know, something happened along the way. But I go to Best Buy, right? Best Buy. Best Buy. Best Buy. Best Buy. Best Buy. Stop the jack in the box. <laughs> yeah. the boy, yeah. <laughs> check it, though. It's almost near closing time. It's almost near closing time. But it's not time. closing time. It's not closing time. But I call Jacob. Hey, what kind of beats you have? Oh, man, I got this, you know. I forgot which one. Fuck. I, I forgot which ones he told me. I was like, oh, man, you know, I'm having, I'm having quite a dilemma here because uh, I, I, can't, I can't decide what, what I want. And then I'm just fucking, I'm just, just staring at him. All of them just like, oh, which one do I want? And then a guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, man, uh, we're about to close soon. I'm like, yeah, 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 but I still need to decide what I want. Dude. <laughs> this <laughs> this guys, asshole. These guys are literally like fucking like just like staring at me like, dude. Get the fuck out of here, man. But I'm like, no, fuck this. I came here. I'm making a purchase. <laughs> and I swear, I... I like thirty minutes after closing time, he I'm calls. Me, no, he calls me like at nine thirty. They close at nine. He calls me at nine thirty. Like, hey, Jake, uh, 
those beats, um, were they a studio or this and that? Like, are you still a fucking Best Buy? Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Did you buy beats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my no, did. no. We'll have Time a whole out. Discussion about Time out. He didn't. He did not buy them though. He didn't no, buy them. I did. I did. You lie. No, 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 no. I didn't buy. I didn't buy the fucking headset. I bought the what's it called? The, the wireless ones. Oh, okay, I so did. you did make a purchase. All right. Yeah. Let's. Let, we, we've well, had yeah, a discussion. Well, yeah, we had a discussion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> This was a good first uh, issue. Uh, first issue. Fucking disagree. I first feel like I feel back. like we could split this into two almost. Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck no. 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 Joe right, Rogan fine. has three, four hour fucking podcasts. Jeez. I'm down. I mean, I'll just shit. do some edits. I'll, 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 I'll do some edits. Right. I can keep you in the shit all night. All right. All right. All right. It's all good. Right. But I, not, I, not, was still, I was doing. I was mistaken. J- uh, Sam Shepard was not in Hellboy. John Hurt was in Hellboy, and he died last year also. Oh, John Hurt, my man. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Wait, yeah. What else has he done? Frankenstein Unbound. Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay. Raw Julia. Forget it. That's it. Forget it. Oh. <laughs> Raw Julia. Jesus. Old school. Yeah. I yeah. fucking well, love Raw Julia. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and bison. bison. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Gomez Adams. Yeah, but yeah. Gomez Adams. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He was better. Nah, he wasn't. You. Was bison. <laughs> I've never met. <laughs> fucking John Claude Van Damme. John Claude Van Damme. Fucking Guile. <laughs> I've seen him. He wasn't him. even American. And oh Guile has the planet gone mad. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking the end of the movie oh when they get the trunk. <laughs> fucking bison dollars. Oh, <laughs> 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 fucking. Like, oh, they never see a future wrong. So many like, problems with that movie. Ripping them off. Dude, no, no. But we have to agree. They did get one right, though, no. on that movie. What? They, they, they got the pose the right at the very end. Yes, they got everybody got their pose. We have to agree. The yeah, ending, the, the, yeah, the, the final ending, fucking, yes. the final pose. Yeah, and then, okay, it, I'll give them that. That was who the played greatest. Cammy. Cammy was in that movie and shit because she was in like she yeah, was in anyway. Super Street Rider. The hot, the chick yeah. with the nice ass. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's Cammy. That's the that's Cammy. Her, was that oh, the same girl from Biodome? I don't know. You know what I'm talking That's about. a good question. Maybe. Well, we'll yeah. look that up. We'll I like that up. pose, Paul. Like <laughs> like, dude, she did the exact same pose, though. Look it up. Yeah. Cammy did the yeah. pose. Yeah. All right. Paul Cammy did, did the, the signature pose. Paul just dis- display the Cammy pose. I'm sorry. You just re- oh, oh, man. Did I miss that? No, I caught it. I didn't know that's what that was. <laughs> this is why we need to record this shit. Yeah, we need a video. Bye, camp. baby. Um, all, right. Um, all right, I'm going to sign us off. This is Gentleman No Class. I'm, I've been robbed. No, you're not. Uh, you, you have not been, been robbed. You've been you fucked. I've been robbed. <laughs> You've been <laughs> fucked. From this time. I am Jake. I'm Rav. And I'm fucking Paul. Yes. <laughs> Catch you next time, guys. Till next time. All right, fuck. I thought.